the helmet. Oh! Like the Nazgul. I get it. Wait. Sorry, low, low in volume, just a little. Yeah. Thanks again, DJ. Uh, or DG King. Appreciate it. What? My helmet's gone. How much do I have to pay to keep my helmet on? <laughs> or my, my head's gone. <laughs> yeah, how much money do I have to spend to show my head? So this is basically $25 I'm spending right now. Yeah, it's a $25, uh, it's a $25 run. Oh, there you go. And so... 25. As you can see, obviously, um, you know, my character is very powerful. Now, why is it powerful? It's the reason why my character is very powerful is because I spent real money on it. Uh, that's the secret. So what? basically, you I've been seeing a lot of people trying to. It's almost as if he like by spending more money, he's winning at the game. So you could say like, you know, he paid to win. Oh, I think I get it now. Got boom, ba boom, done, cool. Just realized the description was uh, not and changed. I feel like I'm gonna get one. Uh, I, I really do. I feel like there, there are. <laughs> oh yeah, it's right around. Losers. And I feel like I'm a winner. I've got to be a winner. So I think in in this rift run right here, I'll probably get it. So the way that you do this is basically you only have five buttons, okay, guys? So mm -hmm. because you only have five buttons, there's not a lot of things you can do wrong. And I want to reemphasize kind of what that guy was saying is that you don't want to have the game be very skill-based because if it is, then you can have the whales. The worst thing to happen is if your whales, if your whales feel like losers. True. You always want your whales to be able to win. Get the five grand before you can stop. So I should spend five thousand dollars before I quit the game. That should be the goal. It shouldn't be to get a five star gem. It should be to spend five thousand dollars. Yeah, I think that seems totally normal and reasonable. Yeah, that's that's totally totally normal. Okay, <laughs> let's kill all these. I'm gonna wait for the rift guardian. Then I'll show you guys how all this works. I know there's some people mm -hmm. that are new and they don't understand the nuances of such an intricate and well-designed game. Yeah, button mashing. So let's go over here. We'll kill these guys. I mean, I, I loved it on my Necromancer. Uh, one, two, three, just have my minions up. But honestly, four, lay down the curse. In actuality, if you ever saw me playing, I was very rarely uh, having to actually type uh, my skills like or uh, press my skills. It's... It was not difficult at all. My minions did all the work for me. I'd rather gamble 5k on stake. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, that means you'd make a, you'd probably make a thousand dollars off of that. Uh, of course, man. Twenty-five dollars to see what that gets us. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, you got a legendary. Wow. Wow. Oh, no, I'm sorry. They're all just uh, gems. Okay, we got some good ones here for sure. Okay, so let's see what I got. Okay, um, so basically... All right. Um, okay. Uh, it's okay, guys. It's <laughs> I'm okay. just going to do it just, again. Listen. Oh, wow. I, I lost $25. There's no way I'm going to lose 50. Can you? Oh, like, man. I, I feel like I'm one good run away from getting my five-star gem. As ah. soon as I get the five... Now, remember, class, what do we call that? Talked about it the other day. The gambler's fallacy, right? Oh, the winning hand is right around the corner. I can feel it. I can feel it. No, it's not. Right? Lady, Lady Luck's coming, and she'll be here, and I'll win that hand. No. Or you might win that hand, but even then, think about how much money you lost before you won that hand, and, you know kind of weigh the balances does it actually equal out usually not um so again that's called the gambler's fallacy of just one more i'm sure we'll get it next go five star gem 
I'm going to quit the game. I'm probably not even going to play it. I'm not even going to play the game with the gym. I'm just going to immediately quit the game the second that I get the gym. Actually, to be fair, I might try it out, but then I'll quit. And as you can see here, my character is obviously OP as fuck. And uh, the reason that uh, he's very overpowered is the same reason why I get nine gems in each run. A <laughs> uh, little fun fact there. And, uh, well, fun for Blizzard, not for me. Yeah. And so uh, there have been a lot of people complaining recently about Diablo Immortal. Uh, they've been saying that this game is nothing more than a you slot machine simulator that steals your money. Yeah. I would beg to differ. <laughs> okay. Let's hear this. In a slot machine, there's a chance that you can make your money back. <laughs> That's not the case with Diablo Immortal. That's not how it works. I was wrong. He has a very fair point. He got me. Dang. Okay, let's see how. All right, let's keep it going. You can't make your money back. There's no way for this to happen, and it will never happen. Yeah, you got to keep that in mind. I, I know there's some people just don't understand that. It's not that hard. I actually think that, like, so this game has had 10 million downloads so far, God. which means that it's only getting more and more popular. I think that by the time that, uh, like, in, in a month from now, the game will be popular enough to where, like, Blizzard won't even need WoW. <laughs> like, it's not going to be Blizzard. It's just going to be Diablo and more. Well, all right, well, here's my question to y'all then, chat. Um, do you really think that in a month from now, Diablo Immortal is going to continue to grow? It's going to, you know, fluctuate, but more or less stay where it is? Or is it going to take a nosedive such as, you know, like New World when it just totally declined? I'm curious to hear uh, what your thoughts, your opinions are, and then, you know, we'll check back in a month and see, oh, if you're right or not. Portal Incorporated. That's it. Oops, I'm dying. Let's just heal. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter if I die. I just res up again. Okay, let's go kill this guy. True. Free game? It is a free game. You only have to spend $500 an hour. <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. It's, it's a free game besides, besides that. Hmm, easy. So, Blizzard's come under fire recently for saying that uh, the game... Is the game a little bit too loud? Just a little. Yeah, is it too loud or not? There we go. We got that one. All right, let's see the money. Okay, I turned yeah. it down a bit. Blizzard's All been right. unjustly attacked. I, I will absolutely agree with Ooh, that. Oh, we got a white one. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see it. Give me that money. <laughs> Give me that money. Come on. Oh. So let me explain to you guys what that means. Okay. So you see how I got two stars. So basically, let me show you what that means. <laughs> Is imagine you had two $20 bills. Okay. Now take a lighter and light them on fire. <laughs> okay. We need to see PvP. Mm -hmm. Um, I've never done PvP in this game before. Oh, so bro, I'm missing out. I'm make an ass out of myself if I do PvP. No. Uh, maybe I should do it anyway. I don't even know how to queue for PvP. Yeah, do it. PvP equals whale fights. Mm -hmm. Can I hit 60 first? Because won't it be better for me to hit 60? It won't I'm matter. I'm like literally over halfway through 59. Uh, again, the PvP, one, it's timed event, which is stupid. So you cannot just PvP all day. It's like, um, you can when PvP opens up, you can do it for two hours, and then it closes for, I don't know, however long, maybe four hours, whatever it is. And then you can PvP again for two hours. Um, I don't understand why they do that. It's kind of like forcing you to go do other content, even though, whatever. Uh, but to their point, 60, hitting 60, really, y'all, it really doesn't matter. Like, once you reach, like, the max rank of all your skills... It's fine. Uh, you're more or less set. Um, I still stand by, and you know they talked about it. it's like it's whale fights. It's like yeah, again, Blizzard kind of um, equalizes it with levels and everything, but they do not touch gems. So again, the more money you spend, the better the gems you have. The more way overpowered you're going to be, and you're just going to trample through everyone else in the game, which is fun for you, not fun for everyone else. Uh, but right, but who cares about everyone else? 
So uh, my um, rolling suggestion is still, why not just, you know, have it so depending on how much money you've spent, that's your uh, tier bracket, right? So zero to fifteen dollars, right? You all play each other. Uh, over fifteen to a hundred, you play each other. Hundred to like three hundred, that's a group, and then you know they can just do like three hundred plus or a thousand dollars plus, however they want to do it. Um, I don't really care. Just I don't want to be, you know, that, that that was one of my annoyances with the game was I was fighting these people who were, um, yeah, well well beyond me and um you know how much money they've spent and as a result i was getting absolutely wrecked in the game it was not having fun so i was like screw this and i'm going home uh so to, just another factor that failed for me so yeah pay to win 100 percent uh everyone's learning yeah after 60 okay yeah I, i'll i'll do it after 60 okay um so right now we're up to 75 dollars you need the chess piece? Uh, what chess piece? I don't know what you mean. I have like five legendary chess pieces, so I'm pretty much good. It's fucking annoying. Okay, there we go. 60 first, whale the fuck out, then stomp people. Okay, I'll, um, first thing I'll do is I'll try to buy some gold, and then after I buy gold, then I'll buy gems. And then after I buy gems, I'll buy upgrades for the gems. Ah. And then after I buy upgrades for the gems, I'll buy platinum so I can buy more gems to put inside of my gems. There you go. And then finally, after all of that, I might be able to actually play the game. And have fun. That's what a exciting. concept. Okay, where are these guys? Avoid all of them. Yep, yep. See, like, my whirlwind does a ton of damage. Um, I also would like to talk about the idea of combat in this game. Oh? Like, what is combat in Diablo Immortal? Not that. I mean, I, I like it. It I feels impactful. I think put Diablo Immortal's combat on too high of a pedestal. Oh. I don't that's think fine. It's that Disagree. Good. I think it's okay. It, it, it's okay. But it's not as good as Lost Ark. It, it, it's like... It, 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 it's okay. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's not not amazing, but it, it's it's. Come here, fatty. Come here, you fat piece of shit. Get out. Uh, I, I want to know more of a like what what aspects of it are not great. Like I again, I like it because you know it feels impactful. Like I feel my hits um, hitting the enemies, them blowing up. Like I I feel that. Um, are they talking more just like how like the fluidity of it? Um, or like the raid boss because I watched a bit of a video and you know Asmin was definitely not happy with the first raid boss uh, Lasso, the flame seeker whatever crap that is um, now that I, I totally agree with like that's it, it is a joke to what you would call a raid very little effort you know um, you figure out the mechanics pretty quick don't stand here don't stand there move when they do this stand behind the rock when he throws it that's easy in that sense I agree combat very lackluster like i don't feel like i'm in a raid it's just i don't know um very unfulfilling to that extent yeah needs improvement lots of it um sometimes like how the monsters like uh how they kind of clip in between each other and what have you um i have been getting some of that and that is problematic but uh, again for me i like the impactful feeling of it so i, I guess that's why i'm more uh, generous with my evaluation of it. But let's see if he has anything else to say about it. Get out of here. Remember these things used to one-shot you in Diablo 3. Hmm. Now every single time that they hit you, you don't even know what happened. <laughs> okay, let's look over here, kill all these guys. Um, so, people that have played Diablo 3 might recognize this tile set. The reason for that is because it's from Diablo 3. Yeah. Yeah, they recycle. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Yep. That's why they would recognize it. Yeah, it's the same exact tile set. And so let's go over. Where's the, uh, where's the boss? All right, so uh, I'll show you guys what happens whenever I want a big dick of boss. I drop the big boys here. And I don't even move out of the effects. Uh, it's not really a good idea to do that because it lowers your damage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so then we go, Blade Stormer down, then she's dead. Yeah, not if it ain't really going to do damage, 
It's fine. Right, give me the chest. Where's the loot? Ooh, wow. Oh my god. Okay, we've got to get some good ones here, right? <laughs> Yeah, let's get all right, all right. We got some big ones here. All right, let's see what we got. Oof, nada. It's okay. okay. Wait, is he down? 50 uh, bucks? Let's go over to. Um, so, what we're going to do now is we're going to go and we're going to try to do another one. <laughs> so, th that's a minus $75. That's right. Fine. It's fine. So each one of these rifts that I do costs me a total of about twenty-two, mm -hmm. about twenty-two dollars. So let's just say twenty-five. It makes it easier. Um, yes. Twenty-five dollars. Claim the daily re reason is because you cannot spend twenty-two dollars in the game to get what you need. Um, you have to spend. Right, you can spend the 20 to get most of the gems, and then you're gonna be a little short. Again, another tactic that they employ. So you naturally just have to spend, okay, well, what's the smallest package you could then buy that'll get you to what you need? Answer, $5. So $25 to run a full-filled Elder Rift. Reward helmet? Okay, I'll do that after this. I should claim it whenever I hit 60, actually, shouldn't I? I think that's what would make more sense, logically. Yeah, am I right about that? Hmm. Yeah, after 60? Okay, because I have to min-max. <laughs> um, I'm taking every advantage yeah. that I can get. Does your gear... Oh, by the way, um, so this game has a system that's called No Child Left Behind. Uh, the way it works what? is that if you get a Paragon level that's too high, your Paragon experience is lowered because other people on your server don't have that high of a level. Oh, sh uh, that's the way the game works. Okay, well, um, I didn't pay too much attention to that. Like I saw when I was on my Paragon, say, like, oh, the average Paragon level on your server is uh, like 16. And at the time I was like a five. I was like, damn, I need to catch up. I did not know, maybe I just overlooked it, um, that they would then boot, do they, I guess, boost my XP as well. And then they reduce the XP of the topper. Oh. I have an issue with that. Like that further, I, I'm less incentivized. Like if you're at the top, right? If, if you're playing the game as you should every day, pretty much 24 seven, like a good gamer does, um, you are now being penalized because everyone else isn't doing that. So why should I be penalized for these other mistakes? Hmm. Did not know that, that's, wow. Spending money is the new meta? It's not the new meta, it's gaming. This is gaming now. You understand? You thought gaming was about skill. <laughs> it was about uh, skill. Money by skill. Okay, let's go over here. We'll kill these guys here too. Not anymore. Yeah, are you having fun? That depends on if I get a five-star gem or not. Okay. They're all dead. Perfect. I want to say he's and done enough of these pack. to get wow, the pity exciting. gem. You know what an elite pack means? Uh, one of them's dead, apparently. Uh, never mind. Oh, two of them are dead? Uh, okay. Um, and then he's... Okay, he's just... All right. I, I don't know what it means. Yeah, I'm not sure. I thought Impact. I did. I don't. Having fun in a Blizzard game? So these I mean, are uh, a special b big boys. And the special elite big packs boys, don't the mean much. They work is, um, basically, well, they're dead. Okay. They just draw so anyway, we're going to look at the next one. Yeah, they speed up the time the Guardian gets there. Um, what you have to understand is that Diablo deserved to die. My opinion has always been, and I know this is going to be like a super unpopular, probably a mauled opinion. I thought that the original D3 was a better game than Reaper of Souls. Who's yes. mad? Who's mad? I actually thought original Reaper of Souls was a, a very poor expansion, which is really sad because uh, Malthael, the primary antagonist, uh, was, I think his story was poorly done. Uh, the conclusion was not really um, 
I don't know, I, I really, I kind of like, I beat it. I didn't really care. Like, I, I was not invested um, in it like you were when you were fighting Bale in Diablo 2, Lord of Destruction, or let alone Diablo in, you know, the original D3 um, game. So, no, I, 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 I can, I think that's a very valid, valid thought. Original D3 was a better game. I didn't like the fact that you couldn't trade. I thought it was stupid. So then right here, I have this boss here. And this boss, you might recognize him because the same mechanics that this boss does are the same as uh, the, the boss. That the you raid. Do. So now he has like a fire thing, which means that I just have to hit a potion whenever I'm fighting him. <laughs> and so here, uh, we're just randomly standing here and attacking him and he's dead. Okay, so let's see what we got. This is $100. There's no way I wasted $100, right? Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I got a white one. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's see it. Come on. Oh, man. Come on. Give me that money. Give me that money. Let's see it. Three. Three. See, I'm building up momentum. Oh, he got three star. I'm I've never seen that before. Momentum. I'm literally right about to get a good one. To work, then. I am right about to get a good one. Let me go ahead and equip this real quick. There we go. Great. And I'll just uh, uh, look at that. Three stars. So what does three stars mean? Must Let me be nice. What it means. it means that the next one that I do, it's gonna be four. That's right. It's gonna be fucking four. A rift is like a loot box oh. in this game. Yes, it is. Uh, it's like a loot box, but somehow it's even easier than clicking on a loot box. He's very optimistic. So basically, the meta for this game is to, every single time that you open one of these, fully juice it with all rift stones possible. And then as you do that, you want to spend, uh, as I said before, like $25 per, uh, per rift run. And then by doing that, it, it'll allow you to get the highest reward possible. Because the goal in the in the game should mm -hmm. be to basically you want to you want to beat the game so you can quit. <laughs> that's the goal. Yes. And so that that's what you're trying to go for. He gets it. And the odds are shown on stream. They are actually not shown on stream. Uh, they they are not at all. We'll go back over here and kill these guys. Look at that. And as you can uh. see, like my damage is just absolutely insane. Just crazy damage. How many rift stones can you get as a free to play player? Um, great question. Um, what rhymes with hero? Zero. Wow, you're right. Oh. Nero, weirdo. Yeah, it's true. Ouch. Oh my god. So, De Niro. <laughs> actually, <laughs> that's I a like very that. good. T that's very relevant. Okay, let's look over here. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's go over here. We've got. So now we have $125 spent. Okay. So, how long have I been streaming Diablo Immortal? How long? Like, I'm saying, like, maybe 20 minutes. Oh, yo, hey, everyone. Uh, before I forget, that just reminded me. I've officially, uh, this marks a week since I started streaming, so I want to thank you all for making the first week pretty enjoyable. Uh, I've been having a great time, uh, great conversations with you, chat. Uh, just really, really digging it. I've been wanting to do this for a while, and just having a good old time doing it so love it thank you all again uh appreciate your support uh, both here as well as on the youtube channel so please be sure if you haven't follow um you know subscribe all that kind of good jazz uh really helps out a lot so i just again him talking about uh time played made me think about how long streaming so i just wanted to say you know give a quick shout out of thanks Like 15 minutes. I've already spent over a hundred dollars. Not bad. Rookie numbers, really. I'm not even kidding. 
I'm not even fucking kidding. This is the way the game plays. This is totally normal. Um, if, if you don't like this, guys, you just hate on gaming. That's it. All right, let's see it. Here we go. Give me the money. Give me the money. Oh, boy. Wow. Man, look at all that. Oh, my God. I got some good ones this time for sure. Here we go. Let's see it. Dang. So close. So, so close. Hate to see it. It's okay. We just do another one. No, it's fine. We do another one. We run it back. We do it again. He has great. He has. Yeah, totally okay, guys. Um, so right Gotta now, appreciate his optimism. And his commitment to the game. Of 150. And that is United States dollar dues. 150. Again, rookie you numbers. See, this is, uh, you know, we could donate this money to the homeless shelter. Uh, we could try to save a, um, uh, a, a starving dog. But unfortunately, uh, we're giving it to Bobby the Goblin to give me two star gems. Thank God for that. Okay, all these guys are dead. No problem. Let's keep moving around. Yeah, it's okay, though, because I'm going to get it this time for sure. God. And I'll actually hit level 60 really soon here, too, which is great. It's Bobby's mm -hmm. world? That's true. It is Bobby's world. I still think Bobby's going to make a, me uh, a metaverse with Microsoft, and that way we will literally be living in Bobby's world. Are you guys excited for that, the metaverse? Oh. So one thing you have to keep in mind is whenever the metaverse comes out... Dude, I, uh, uh, this whole metaverse stuff is... Uh... Yeah, I mean, it's a thing, kind of hoping it ends up not being a thing, but it looks like it's going to be a thing, uh, let alone with the likes of, you know, Bobby Kotick and the others who, uh, just a friendly reminder, if he does get, you know, fired and whatnot, I think his, you know, severance is like 300 million at least, might be a little bit more, might be 500 million, somewhere between those two numbers, so, you know, he'll he'll be able to continue living in his house i mean he might have to he may not be able to get you know he may not be able to buy an island or well yeah he will he may not be able to buy multiple islands but it's things will get tough for him if they you know fire him that's for sure essentially he won out if you think this game is pay to win the one difference between this game being pay to win and metaverse is that metaverse being pay to win is going to be seen as a sense of pride mm -hmm. because it's people that have small yeah. dicks in real life that want to be able to ward it over, um, you know, people that are, uh, you know, 22 years old and they haven't graduated college yet. Yeah, they need to have the achievements yeah, the for how much money you spend. Life simulator. Exactly. Yes. Uh, video games are becoming real life. Uh, you don't want games to be uh, the thing is you don't want a video game to be skill based because if a video game yeah. is skill based then whales can lose yeah or you get people who get upset and leave a horrible review like um again simplifying it but the whole act man and quantum tv drama right all started with a uh <laughs> with a bad review of elden ring right some you know didn't like it what have you thus therefore it's a horrible game Mm hmm and yeah what if elden ring was pay to win right could y'all imagine it's like oh man you have to level up the slow way or you know you drop a hundred bucks and you get these orbs and they'll boost your stats right like but only one selected stat you have to spend more money to boost all the others you know to keep everything on the same track because otherwise it's, you'd be taking advantage of the developer right could y'all just imagine that so, you know, on this point, it's, yeah, it's becoming less skill-based, more pay-to-win. Um, I think I think it'd be funny and just really, you could tell 
who the POSs are, if there's an achievement for like, wow, you've spent X amount of money. So then when you inspect a character, it's like, all right, is this someone I want in my group? Oh, wow, they spent a lot of money. I kind of want them in the group because they'll be able to, um, you know, complete the content easier because they're going to be souped up. But they're also going to suck because, you know, they've just paid so much money and they're making it more unfair for us free-to-play players because they're the reasons that, hey, Blizzard's like, man, people are paying money, so it must be okay. And if whales can lose, then they might quit playing the game. You can't let that happen. So you've got to keep the whales on the hook as long as you can. Mm -hmm. How much Blizzard's made off the game so far? Sure, let's talk about it. So what do you think the odds are somebody spent... Uh, all right. So let's assume half the people that play the game have never spent a single cent on it, right? I think that's kind of fair. Let's say they've never spent a single dollar on the game. Uh, so you got um, five, uh, five million people. Let's assume, actually, you know what? Let's assume that 90% of people didn't spend a single cent on it. And let's assume 1% wow. spent over $100. Well, what's 1% of 10 million? Yeah. Uh, well, that's a hundred thousand. I'm pretty sure, right? Uh, yeah, that's a hundred thousand. Whoa, wait. All right, big money. Oh wow, that's a shiny chest. Oh, that's a shiny chest. Oh man, did it get a four? Oh, there's no way you could have known that was gonna happen either. I feel sorry for him. For spending that much money, he deserves better, right? Anyone who spends that kind of money deserves better. They, they should be getting these epic items, without no question. One more, guys. I'm gonna get it for sure. One more, 100%. Oh hey, he's almost 60. Uh, wait, do I still have enough? Uh, I do, right? Crest history? Okay, we did all these. <laughs> oh no, might have to spend more money. Dude, for real though, like... You gotta it love it. to give somebody a rift? Yeah, oh. it's called a bank transfer. <laughs> I do them all the time. It's Sorry. not a big deal. Let me move chat down. Are you just twisted? No, no, it's okay, guys. It's alright. Don't worry about it. As much as I'm not getting it twisted. If, if I was getting it twisted, guys... There. I, I, I'm not. There we go. Wait. Oh my God! Look at all the elites. Oh wow! Look at this. This is what mm. I'm talking about. It's gonna be a look fast drift. Damage. Insane. I'm out of control. Drop this one over here too. Oh my God. Yeah, my mom. Ooh, feels my good. I'm sure. So powerful and so overpowered that they can literally just solo other uh, other elite packs. God, yeah. I really hope they make Diablo 4 pay to win too. So I want to he talk to it. you guys a little bit about um, what this means. So a lot of people have brought this up to me and they've said that, um, you know, they'd like, you know, they're okay with me doing what I do, but they wish that I would spend a little bit more time talking about uh, the negative effects of it. And um, you know everything like that instead of just Isn't it obvious? About it all the time. Um, I have. Uh, I'm probably gonna have like three different people. There we go. Wow. Um, I'm gonna have about three. Different I don't understand. People, uh, coming on my stream probably very soon. I don't really have a specific day um, to actually talk specifically about the effects of these games. Uh, somebody who's doing their PhD on this topic themselves. Uh, two different interest groups that have been advocating for <laughs> changes. Uh, in terms of I see. Like, uh, on a, uh, a legislative level, and gotcha, I'm like, gonna bring them onto my platform and talk about them. Actually, you know what? I think that's fantastic. Like now, now that I understand what exactly he's getting at, is like, yeah, bring on people who actually do research, who have looked at this, um, like the detrimental effects it has, like on the mind, right? Conditioning people to be okay with spending money not on games, but like gambling in general, right? Because that's Oof, if I spend money, I have a chance to get this. Or you spend money, you get showered with more rewards. Like it, make, it makes you feel like, oh, I really did earn this. Like I, I, I'm special now. And not really. 
all, all it is, it, it's triggering that little, little snap second of dopamine makes you happy, right? And makes it feel like this was worth it. And then it wears off. And so you have to do it again and again and again. So I'm, um, I think it's great. He's bringing in people who have researched this um, more. Uh, again, my own research, I've done very little. Like I, I look at human behaviors, uh, but like gambling in particular, not, not so much. Um, I understand the deviance and the overall of like how we, you know, come to become very accepting of behaviors like that. You know, what behaviors we would call uh, deviant, um, unless you're in Las Vegas, in which case it's totally acceptable and not deviant, uh, which is another whole aspect of it. Not going to go into too much detail with y'all about it. Um, but yeah, I th I'm very curious to see what these uh, individuals who have a much stronger focus in the area have to say. What? Dr. K might be a really good example. I might hit him up and see if he'd be down for that. That's actually a really good example. I, I don't know. I Because I, I don't... Has he ever talked about this before? Does he know about this? Yeah, does he have any idea? Yeah, does he know about this? Yes. Does he have a video of it? Because if he has a video of it... I oh, wait, wait. Let's mm -hmm. see if I got any... Oh, no, 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 no. oh. Oh man, but I got three two stars. I'm still lucky. I'll do it again. You know, he can. Oh my god, I just said, just do it again. It'll be okay. I'll get another one. That way we'll exactly. just get it out to an even $200. Smart. Yeah, of course. All right, let's do it again. All right. Yeah, this is a minus uh, $200. What a rush. So if you guys can link me a video of Dr. K um, talking about like the uh, loot box gambling and like the addictive tendencies that it creates and, uh, and, and cultivates, yeah, I will watch that on my stream. And, and as I said before, um, I I'd love to have him on my stream to talk about it or I'd love to go on his stream to talk about it. I don't really care. Uh, mm -hmm. But I, I just... I, I feel like that could lend a little bit of legitimacy since like he's a you know actual like uh, actual guy right he actually knows what he's going on yeah uh, he's an addiction specialist he's probably got a lot to say about it exactly exactly uh, that's yeah I mean that's the big point right there it's just it's just it helps legitimize all these points um again uh more or less has been gold is right and actually pretty much anyone who's been reviewing this has been showing talking about like you know oh it gets you to spend more and more money yeah it's again it is cultivating um addiction behaviors uh it's right and these behaviors can transfer from gambling and games to online like poker i know that's a huge uh controversial topic with big streamers like xqc right gambling on stream uh, to like, you know, if you're by casinos, like if you're close by, if it's within driving distance, then like, oh, you know what? I like gambling and video games. This is more or less the same, right? Pull the slots, see the shiny colors, get a, get a card, right? An awards points uh, program. So if you gamble enough, you know, you'll get a reward. It's like, oh, you get a free night at the hotel. It's like, wow, I got something free. It's like, oh, it's not really free. You already paid for it. <laughs> like, it's... Yeah, it's it's done. You but by with the amount of money you've spent getting that award, you've paid for that award, that free award token, whatever you want to call it. You know, at least ten times over. So, um, but it makes you feel special, right? It makes you a valued uh, rewards member, a valued member in the eyes of the company. Maybe not the community, but definitely the company, right? And we have been getting kind of groomed to be more and more accepting of that especially in the gaming community right we talked about in the past microtransactions 10 years ago was nothing five years ago it was kind of starting to creep and grow and then you know you have things like uh battlefront 2 right remember ea the loot boxes oof so much flack that they changed it but what about now right and again lost ark came out at a great time when it finally was like oh, you know this ain't so bad it Again, it just makes you think how society is changing, how it's becoming more culturally acceptable to like spend this kind of money on these games, right? These activities, um, thinking in a broader sense. And what kind of detrimental effect that's gonna have on youths, right? Emerging adolescents, uh, even younger kids, right? Who have access to video games that require, my, you know, ask for microtransactions, Mario Kart, whatever, like, I don't know if Mario Kart uh, uses microtransactions, but 
I would not be surprised because, again, kids are a very vulnerable population, right? And if they, like me, memorize your mom's credit card number and all the info, then they can access it, right? Because when you, if you have that information, there's not like a, oh, you know, oh, need to, you know, look at your face to scan it. No, no, no. It's like, oh, you have the info? All right, then you're good. Thanks. Exactly. So, I don't know. Uh, it's very worrisome. Just, uh, I don't think he has any videos on it. Yeah, he's a, he's a real guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's a real guy. He's officially a specialist. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't believe that I never even thought of that until right now. I feel stupid, honestly. I should have thought of that before. What's this here? Uh, demonic, Spire, Destroyed, and Rewards have been increased. Oh, thank God. I can't wait to get my five star now. Here we go. He plays the game too? Get Dr. Spiegel on there? Oh, oh God. God bro, like, yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I, I got a feeling it won't. After he, after he finds out that I call him Dr. Smeagol, I think that's going to be about, uh, <laughs> that's, that's gonna be about that's the a good one. conversation right there. Dude from the Johnny Depp trial. Uh, that was Dr. very weird. Addiction with Rich. Have you ever watched it? No, I haven't, actually. Um, let's see here. Open this up. So I have two demonic spires. Hey, um, do these stack? See, like, rips like this, I just mm. think are fucking garbage. He's not wrong. Like, they're such trash. What the fuck is this? Like, I'm, I'm not able to... Like, all I'm doing is running around and, like, AOEing, AOEing down packs of normal mobs. Yeah. It's so slow and boring. Again, that's why you want the elites, because they drop orbs that speed up the process. So the more elites you get, uh, the quicker the run. The less you can, you know, the quicker you can get out of there and then run it again. What is this? I mean, it, it's like, how do you have, how do you have Path of Exile that is just clearly a thousand times better, at least? Well, actually, no, it's not a thousand times better because multiplying by zero will always give you zero. <laughs> so, <laughs> damn, it's a thousand levels above this game. You could say that, um, but yeah, it, it's only a hundred times. Yeah, there you go. Um, only $2,000? Guys, I've been busy, okay? I've had to fly out to L.A. to do a whole event. You know, it's, uh, it's a big... Oh, so maybe Notorious is not in Austin. Sorry, this is re reference to another stream. I thought they were in Austin, but they went to L.A. to do the event. So the studio's probably in L.A. Makes sense. Your money nope. soon. Needed. I'm doing my best, okay? Taste Even Chaos Dungeons better than this trash? My yeah. favorite part of Chaos Dungeons is like the second level of them. Okay, so we have. I don't know. This is the boss. Never played it. Now the difference between this boss and the other bosses is sometimes this boss casts an ability, and so whenever he casts that, oh, it's dead. Okay, never mind. Um, I was gonna say that sometimes you have to kill it, but I just cleaved it down. It died anyway. So um, yeah, there yep. we go. Okay. For two thousand dollars, you better be able to cleave it that fast. Come on, give me the money. Ooh. Ooh. Is he gonna get it? Ooh, that's a shiny. Okay, let's get this money. Come on. Come on, big money, big Ooh, money. Big I don't know. Money. Let's see it. All right, two stars max. Nope, this is gonna be a four star. Let's see it. Okay, it's a two star. Oh. All righty, so... um. I'd say hate to see it, but nah. That's usually the way these things go, <laughs> but we all know that that's not going to happen again, so we'll just do it again. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> uh, fucked in the ass again. That's what they say. God. I wonder why. So, luckily, I spent a bunch of real money, and I don't have to buy more tickets. Overwatch, what's this here? An Overwatch 2 reveal event at June 16th? Thank God. Like, they really need to start talking about Overwatch 2. I think that they made Forgot a all about by it. releasing the PvP before the PvE. Uh, I think it was a mistake because, like, it wasn't...
for like an average player, it wasn't, uh, what's the word for it, transformative enough for people to like warrant it being called Overwatch 2. Mm. I actually, I think that Blizzard, I actually think Blizzard, Overwatch 2 is one of the only things that they're doing right. The only thing wrong with it is the name. <laughs> you get Overwatch 2 for free. The multiplayer, it's like, like, they never say this. There was hype? Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I was hyped about Overwatch 2. I still am. I'm really excited to play the PvE content. I think it'll be really fun. I hope so. I like the way that Overwatch plays. Yeah. On like a fundamental yes. level, I really like the way that it plays. I agree with that. A am I crazy? Yes, but am I crazy for this? Yeah, they just added a 2. I mean, honestly, Overwatch 2, um, I might play it. I'll probably, if, if, if my friends play it, I'll probably play it. Um, I do agree. It's kind of like the first Battlefront, if, I don't know if y'all remember, but it didn't have any PvE content, which was such a huge thing for the original Battlefront, like doing the Galactic Conquest and everything. Like, I played that game for hours by myself just because you could always have all these, you know, create all these different scenarios, and it was just awesome. I loved it. Um... So Battlefront 2, when it initially came, you know, they're like, are the, uh, I'm sorry, the new Battlefront came out, no PvE, people were furious, understandably, so I hate it. You know, like, yes, the gameplay was inherently fun, but I was like, it didn't feel like a true Battlefront game. So I had major issues with that. Um, I'm hoping, you know, Overwatch, more or less the same thing. Like, it was fun. Like, I did play that a lot more, like the PvP but I think a PvE component, because they keep telling you, you know, like, they care about these characters, and, like, they'd release videos, and that's that's fine. But it still felt like I was missing out a huge part of, like, well, what's the... Well, what where are the stories, you know? Like, if you want me to care about these characters, um, then I need more of a reason to. So PvE content's a great way to do that, you know? Story, something. Yeah. Everybody knows that, but um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just feel like Overwatch could be a, uh, uh, it, it, Overwatch PVE could be fun. Yeah. And I'm not, uh, I'm not willing to just say like, oh, the game's bad, uh, just because like it's it's popular to say so. I played Overwatch <laughs> 2 a lot off stream even. Uh, I find it to be fun. Am I crazy? Yes. Mm. But you know, there it is. <laughs> What's this? What's Dick Sucker doing over here? Let's kill Dick Sucker here. There we go. Good. I actually wish they had that. You know, like whenever they have like the name randomization thing. I know. How many of y'all are excited for Overwatch 2? Uh, let me know in chat. Uh, you know, or you think it's going to be another, it's going to be a fat L for Blizzard, especially after D uh, Diablo Immoral, uh, to believe or not, if that can actually happen. If it can get worse. One of the name randomizers is Dick Sucker. Uh, am I gonna die? Uh, yeah, I'll probably die. I'll use a heal. Okay. Huh? What do you mean, huh? I think that'd be funny. It keeps things exciting. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with that? The PvE bench and Overwatch 1, they're terrible. Really? I, I've never done that before. Mm. But, um, I don't know. I just... Con. Oh, a little bit of f breaking the fourth wall here. I, I see that. Okay. Not what I'd expect out of Blizzard, but okay. Taking the Deadpool approach. Okay. Right on. So as you can see here, um, this is a boss. And what I do here is I just pretty much hit the same button over and over and over. Yes. And eventually he dies. And you usually don't have to care too much about mechanics. I got another chess piece. Amazing. Mmm. You can hear all that money. Wow. <laughs> wow. Look at all my uh, loot. And for a split second, you Look feel like a winner. Tinies. Oof. Look at the tinies. Oh my god. Look at the tinies. What's this? What? Okay, so um, basically what happened there is uh, 
I didn't get the special shinies. Nope. <laughs> Who would have guessed? I missed the Kotaku article review. No, you didn't. I did. Oh, no. Sneed's weakening. Oh, no. I don't have any more legendary crests. Okay. Whatever will he do? We're gonna buy more. Oh. It's okay, guys. There's a pickle. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if he might give up or... But he's a true whale. There you go. <laughs> yes. You know how, like, Train has steak where, like, they gave him that thing where he can... Where he can spend for 1500 And I'm pretty sure, like, that originally, That's... like, he wasn't even able to spend for 1000 Remember that? I actually, like, wouldn't it be funny if Blizzard had a thing? It was called, like, the, um, uh, the Immortals Power Pass, where you could buy a hundred eternal legendary crests at a time instead of just ten. Oh. That way you can waste as little time as possible wasting money on the game. Yeah, time is money, friend. Yeah, what, what, what do you guys think? Yeah, you can buy a hundred? Well, yeah, but you have to click every single one. It's too yeah. much. He's doing 75k spends now? That's good. God. Keep it exciting. Dude. The Asmongold pack? Yeah, there we go. We bought a lot. What if it's just slot machine the gems out for you? <laughs> I wish they could do that. Uh, honestly, it would be so much easier if they just did it in the slot machine. Oh, because my God. Because I wouldn't have to go through the whole it hurts. fucking... Like, you know, you go through the whole thing of like, oh, you got to run through there. You got to kill some mobs. It's like, oh, fuck, man. This is going to take forever. Uh, the ridiculousness. In game. Uh, oh, really? I didn't even know that. Yeah, but is that, wait, is that actually true? It, it, it's more of just kind of scary on how realistic, like how much, how close to reality this could actually become. Um, it hurts to think about. Um, it also hurts to think about how this is you know we've come to this stage as a uh, ouch I don't even need to click it oh make it easy yes. come on okay I guess I'll just buy more uh, give me a second I'll do that after this look at that damage guys wow I'm out of control I'm a literal god Okay, oh. kill these guys. To be fair, like, that mob actually did a lot of damage to me. Oof, look at that healing, yeah. though. Mm. You know, a couple of days ago, I went to Chipotle. Paying for that heal. Like, I feel like Chipotle is, like, running rifts. There's a chance that you get a five-star steak meal, but there's also a chance that you get a one- or a two-star steak meal where half of the steak pieces are fucking fat. I'm so sick of this shit. <laughs> I thought he was going to say, like, <laughs> you're rolling the dice on whether or not uh, your restroom visit's going to be destructive or, you know, relatively <laughs> relatively uh, easygoing. Um, okay, but, okay, food quality, that's fair, too. You know who you don't have to worry about that with? Taco Bell. Never been disappointed. I get the, I get exactly what I want which is that barely passable meat, right? Y'all remember that? Some lady sued Taco Bell uh, years ago now because they're like, uh, the meat is so artificially enhanced that it's not even real meat. And that shit actually went down. Worth checking out. Please, Chipotle, please fix this. Am I the only person that has this happen? It's nuts. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually about to hit level 60. Here we go. Oh, at long last. Yeah, it's design intent. Oh, it's, it's part of the design. <laughs> Working as intended. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It really annoys me. Not, I hate, I get those gr gristle meals too. It's disgusting, dude. Like there were times where I only had like maybe three or four pieces of like edible meat in my food. And it's like, I'm not the kind of person to like take food back and complain. The reason I don't do that is because mm. I always worry that like whenever I do that, it's not going to go to the person who actually, like, because, like, it's really the distributor who's at fault there, right? Uh, it, it's not the people that work at the store, I'm assuming. 
So, like, I don't want to fuck up some kid that's, like, working there for fucking, you know, like, nine bucks an uh, hour. I don't want to make his life worse because I didn't get a good meal. Well, nine an hour? No, they're making much they more now. No, I don't think it's anything like that. I just think it just makes their life worse, right? And yeah. so, yeah, like, fuck that. I, I just I just wish Chipotle... Did yeah, I mean, he, he has a fair point. I was with the original, like, yeah, you just don't mess with people who prepare your food. But, again, it's... Even with the pay increases um, that a lot of these fast food restaurants are offering, like it's still not a whole lot as, you know, the price of living has gone up. So it kind of bounces out, which is very sad, but true. Um, but yeah, it's like, I, I guess in his case, if it's something perhaps as if it seems minor, it's like, do you really want to mess up some person's day? Right. Because it goes back and you can, you can, I think, reasonably guarantee that that person is going to get admonished right so there goes the day right it's you know it's like oh yes absolutely you know we'll take care of it and basically that means yeah they're going to redo it and they're going to yell or you know have a stern talk into to the person who screwed up be a little bit more consistent with the meat that's all i don't know I what do y'all think like about steak. this uh, I, I tried chicken once, I ate three bites of it, and then I realized that I was eating bites of chicken whenever I could be eating bites of steak. I threw it away and I made a steak. Okay, where's the boss? Here we go. Oh, I've only got one dick boy out. That's unfortunate. Chicken's a hundred times better than steak. Wrong, and guess what's also mm -hmm. 50 times better than, than, uh, than chicken? Is turkey. Turkey is the superior bird. Everybody knows it. All right, Disagree. Like, oh, there it is. I'm level 60. Fuck yeah. Ooh, and a white chest. Mm. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's see it. Don't scare away the five star gem, okay, guys? <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh man what a bummer oh well just got spent another 20 25 bucks <laughs> it's only 38 minutes into the game you spent over 200 bucks guys stop <laughs> Stop. It's not funny. There's nothing funny about this, okay? I mean... <laughs> all right, give me a second. Let me salvage all my stuff. It's all right, funny so how I horrible wanna, it is. I want to get my special helmet, right? It's funny that this is for real. You spend all that money, and you'll still walk away with diddly squat. Again, that is gambling. These are loot boxes. Like, it's one of the... I know he's uh, he kind of does it for, like, the ironic laughs, right? Just to show how horrible and detrimental the system is to frankly society as a whole imagine again kids are playing this getting hooked on it already um so in that case it is not funny but the <laughs> his whole again the ironic showing of how messed up it is by showing how much money you can just dump into this game it is a uh, it's a different way of reminding people about how messed up it all is Is, is that it? Uh, I want to buy my special helmet. Next one for sure. I know that. Hell difficulty unlocked. Mm -hmm. Equipment will now start dropping that requires a minimum paragon level. Yeah. Okay. It's not difficult at all. So the difference between hell one and hell two is one shader in Photoshop. <laughs> okay. Open map, select difficulty. All right. Um, I didn't read what to do. I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, maybe it's this. Oh, right. Okay, I got it. Hell 1 is Paragon 1 to 60. Okay, so I have to get Paragon... Wait. There's Paragon mm -hmm. 240? Holy fucking shit. So another reason I was like, I got the Paragon 15. I'm good because I saw how high it goes up to and... Nah, nah, I'm, I'm just, sorry, say, say what you want, I don't have the will or whatever, it's also, I don't have the money, um, to live that kind of lifestyle, so, uh, 
another reason all the more for me to just cut my losses. I enjoyed it as much as I could, and that's that. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. Yeah, grind it out, little piggy. That's right. <laughs> okay, we'll get all this. How, how close am I to Paragon 1? Let's see. Um, I'm not going to make it, I don't think. Reach level 60? Okay, I got that. Switch to Hell 1. Diff well, I just did that. have to go to the map to open it. Wow. All right, let me go ahead and try and get my thing, okay? Battle pass. My Where's my empowered battle pass? Guys, <laughs> is it my boon of plenty? Is it uh, services, boon of plenty? Okay, let's loot this here. Car oh, wow, I get a legendary? Mm -hmm. Leap gives you a shield, empowered charge, uh, howler's lift, leap damage. Um, ground stomp now affects all nearby enemies. Rampage. Merciless <laughs> assault. Hmm. What do you guys think I should go with here? God, this is this a very is... hard decision for me. Yeah, what, what do I go with? Oh, it's um, all sad. It also gives you a shield. I don't care about that. Okay, I don't really care about this. Leap damage. I think we're going to go with Furious Charge. I think Screaming Fury seems really good. Yeah, because like you do Furious Charge, it knocks them into the air, which means it CCs them. We're going to go with this. Okay. Sounds fun. Here. And uh, all right, now I have to... Oh, I have to get my Paragon levels, of course. Oh, Prodigy's Path. There you okay, go. we did that. Wait, what's this? Purchased? 400% extra value. I bought that, didn't I? Okay, Boon of Plenty. Okay, I bought this. I bought that. Oh, I need to buy these. I forgot to buy those. Oh, let me buy some of these just in case. Okay, good. <laughs> Click it. Purchase. Oh, my God. Oh, right here. I see. Uh, legendary crest. Guys, it's only a legendary crest. It's not how a, silly. It's you spend all that money and you forget to good. use it. You have to understand the difference. If you don't, you're a noob. So, oh, wow. Cavern of Echoes Treasure Trove. Yep. Is that one of the last ones? Oh. A hundred and... What, has he not beaten the uh, main storyline yet? No, uh, really doesn't matter to me, but I was like, wait till he sees the... Uh... Oh, no, he can, he can see right now the Pit of Anguish uh, Trove, the most expensive after you beat the final boss. An eighty percent extra value. Mm. That's some goody stuff. Pit of anguish trove. A hundred and fifty percent. Seeker supplies forty percent. But see, I don't know, guys. I mean, these are all. But look, right? That that's the whole. That's the whole thing. Is you're still. You're taking advantage of Blizzard when you buy these, right? Because look at that extra value you're getting. They don't just hand that out to anyone. So, I mean, it seems like really good deals. And all of this promotes, you know, spending more money on them. Okay, um, I will be right back. Going to uh, refill my drink and uh, take care of my dog. So y'all hang tight. I'll be back in a minute. Kinda seems worth it, right? I mean, he's making it. it. It's honestly, it's a steal. Why, why risk not getting, you know, any, any, you know, five star gems or a anything worth value from a uh, elder rift when you can just buy it? You know, you already win. I mean, it seems kind of silly to not do that. My opinion, though. That's a four star for ninety thousand. That is so cheap. We've got to buy that. Okay, what about this one here? I have a four star. How much is my four star worth? 
a hundred and my four star is worth over two hundred and fifty dollars wow that's impressive let's go ahead and make some of our own legendary gems and let's upgrade them right now uh let me go ahead and do this real quick uh we'll do this real quick and let's see here P yeah sorry just looking at that um yeah when it says like stats his all said like excellent mine or like one of my things says like good and then everything else is poor or fair so yeah it hurts pvp claimed out obviously get one of these things get that all right good now let's go ahead and upgrade our gems because obviously uh we want to slay in style and after this i'm going to do a rift and we're going to see how much different it is at level 60 okay so uh i can't upgrade any of these okay so that sucks mm -hmm. oh i can upgrade this one. Oh, thank okay, goodness crafting these so you can buy these um the way that you buy these is you go on the store uh, i know that might be a surprise <laughs> people might not have expected that but um yeah that's how you buy them all right let's go and upgrade this one here too topaz massive resistance is there yeah did anybody God. predict that uh <laughs> it's like yeah this kind of stuff will really just kind of fool you won't it yeah it's uh okay we've got rank three to rank four a little bit more armor okay so this is going to be my first oh, rift I see. as a uh wow. as a level Please 60. let's see what this is like is this diablo 4. <laughs> um no actually you know what let's do the rift and then i want to fight this guy i'm gonna make a group and you guys can join the group and we're gonna do the boss so about the boss um he's well and especially for a level like the first level because there's like i guess three levels to every raid boss uh the first level your combat rating or you know some people say gear score or whatever um has to be like 425 is the recommended because uh, below that he basically one shots you with anything if you get hit um but above that it's a, it's a joke like so i did it with a war band right like basically a raid group um and the race is we we were i think two seconds below beating the top uh war band at that time right because it's all about how fast can you kill them it's not difficult like everyone knows the mechanics you just drop them like crazy but uh it's it really isn't it's not difficult at all so um i think level two you or the combat rating has to be like 1250 something like that yeah you guys can actually do this after this let me do this from first though mm. <laughs> all right let's try it buy the gems uh there's no reason to uh, okay so how is this going to be easier or harder you want to max out more it airs so i just hit level 60. so i'm assuming these are going to be really hard to do no someone can tell you from hell one uh, it is no more difficult than on like normal like it, it's all still just a joke Yep. Um. Uh. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. See, he's having so no trouble. I just. Just big dick. <laughs> you gotta love it there's no difference that that's it there's no difference why am i playing this shit to the support blizzard because i want as many people as possible to see this i want as many people as possible to see the game and again because the uh, other method hasn't been working get as many people involved with it as i possibly can i want everybody to see it i want everybody to know about it and I don't want anybody to be like, oh, I don't understand how it works. I will show exactly how it works. Why? The reason why is because Blizzard's secretly paying me. 
and this has all been an elaborate ruse. But no, the, the real reason is because... Oh, what the fuck? Give me a second. Oh, uh, the real reason is because I think that games like this should literally be illegal. Mm -hmm. uh, I think loot boxes should be made illegal. Yeah. Look at that damage. Again, look at that. Just like regular gambling, it preys on vulnerable people, people with uh, past, especially those with past gambling addictions, um, addictions in general, um, and also younger populations, right? Because think, think of you know how old you had you have to be to actually gamble. Here, there's no age requirement. As long as you have a credit card, you're solid. So, yeah, again, very. Uh, horrible uh practice and it's like well again we give you the option you don't have to spend money well people also don't have to drink they don't have to smoke tobacco they don't have to engage in any other sort of substance use they don't have to go to the slot machines but they do because you put it there and you heavily incentivize them to do it oh man A big dick damage and i think the only way to achieving that goal and this is something that people disagree with me on. Some people do. Now, I think they're stupid. Uh, why, if I didn't, I would change my mind. But um, I, this is people disagree with me on this. Is that I think that's the only way you can really make change. Is that you have to put it in as many people's face as possible and show them and give them irrefutable proof that it is what it is. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Did I get any shiny boys? Oh no. No. <laughs> no, I didn't. No. All right, let me do one more and then we'll do the raid, okay? Since like I'm right here, I might as well put in another 25, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, so I, I didn't even look at how many they were in there. It's okay. A lot of negative comments on your last YouTube video. I agree with them all. Oh, about you on my last YouTube video? Oh. Yeah, well, the thing is, like, if people disagree with me on things, uh, I guess I'm going to try this out, see if this ain't good. Um,. You see, like, I don't think that, like, I'm confident about, uh, I'm confident about the way that I look at things. I, I think that I'm right. There are going to be people out there who disagree with me, and they will think that I'm doing the wrong thing. That's just what happens. Like, really, that, that's what happens. You're right, though. I know that I'm right. You are doing the wrong thing? Yeah, actually, well, yeah, you're right. I am doing the wrong thing. But it's for a good reason. <laughs> uh, exactly. You should put on better armor and transfer the legendary bonus. Yeah, I thought about doing that, but then I realized that it would take uh, more than three seconds, so I decided not to. I mean... Yeah, that's why I didn't do it. Again, I know, right? Well, what's that old verbiage? Uh, many horrible things have been committed... Uh, in the name of like doing it for the good right reasons uh y'all know what i'm getting at uh it's just all this uh gets very frustrating uh to watch just diablo more but like i said it's something i'm like oh i still have that itch to play it but again there's no point for me to play it i reiterate my stance that i understand where he's coming from right again for years he other streamers have been promoting the like don't play this game it's immoral it's wrong like to spend these kind of monies and video games you know they're not going to learn um if you keep spending money well clearly for what it's been going on for at least a decade now over a decade clearly people are still pumping money into the game so you keep getting all these transactions the what uh the wow store has only grown significantly i remember when it used to just be the mount and then it was like the three helm transmogs it has grown significantly since then so clearly people are spending money into it putting money into it so telling them like all these influential streamers saying over and over again like don't do it this is wrong here's a video sh like outlining how they manipulate how they get your money and people are still doing it so i understand why he's taking the approach of let me just show you how messed up it is how you can spend all this money you'll get ahead but you're the odds are still so against you to get all the best gear right because it's to train you to keep spending more and more money so i understand that whether or not it's a right way to go about it 
I'll let y'all decide. Uh, again, please let me know in your comments. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear the different, you know, uh, perspectives on it. But I, I think it's important to understand basically the frustration behind it to what's drawn it to like this whole, you know, again, people have criticized him and others uh, like Asmund Gold uh, heavily for uh, spending, putting, you know, again, loading stacks of cash into the game. They're like, no, that, you know, that, that that's a horrible way to do it. Um, but I'm not really hearing any great alternatives. Um, again, whether or not Asmund Gold's way is correct, um, I'm not really hearing alternatives of like, well, how can we change from otherwise just showing how horrible this method is, right? Because that, that's been done. And I think it needs to continue to be, you know, done, right? Streamers need to keep promoting it. I, I, I love that. I think it's good. I think it's what needs to happen. But something else needs to be done as well, because that's clearly not enough. Because uh, these games are constantly being promoted, right? And they're coming out. It's getting worse and worse. Uh, again, everyone's joked about it, but it's true. Everyone was up in arms over Lost Ark because it's like, what? I can't believe people would uh, drop this kind of money into a game. It's pay to win. You're, you're not, it's, you know, it's, oh, it's so wrong. No one's talking about how bad Lost Ark is because Diablo Immortal made it look so good because of how horrible this game is right it has now made lost ark which was the reigning champ for a few months look like you know they really weren't asking that much money from you it really can't be that bad so i really do um have strong feelings uh again about all of this uh whether or not the path asmongold and others like him are going is correct or not again i'll let y'all decide i'll let y'all talk that out um it is a it is a important discussion uh, that needs to be had and perhaps think of other ways you know how can you stick it to blizzard being you know we no longer want this horrible horrible uh kind of interactions within the game okay let's just go ahead and get all these guys there we go here for the content yeah i think there's a lot of people who and this has always been a problem I've kind of had uh, as, a, as a content creator, is that a lot of people have always wanted me to stand for what they stand for, to believe in what mm -hmm. they believe in, to uh, help be the messenger of what they believe to be their own truth. No. Uh, this is not something I want to do. I don't think anybody really wants to be treated that way. And so uh, I, I think that I'm always going to do with whatever, I'm always going to do whatever I think is the best option. Having opinions and giving in to other people's opinions are uh, obviously two very different things. Um, you know, sometimes as a streamer, your opinions are going to overlap with your fans, you know, those who follow you, uh, in which case that's fine. Um, but I wholeheartedly believe in streamer authenticity. So, again, if I'm, I'm going to follow uh, what I believe in and, you know, if that is contrary to what, you know, my fan base you know, or anyone's fan base would otherwise, you know, believe in, then that's too bad. The worst thing you can do is give in. Because once you give in, it's a very slippery slope. Um, right now, and that's not to say, like, well, if people provide evidence, you have long discussions, right, and it kind of, you know, it, it, it opens your mind to different perspectives. That's one thing. Okay, that, that's, that's fine. That's, that's something different. But just going with the crowd, right, essentially giving in to peer pressure of, like, oh, then, you know what? I, again, be authentic. Um, I I'm all for that. So I, I've always respected Asmin Gold for following that kind of uh, kind of philosophy behind his streaming. Rather than what people think is the best option, because I don't think people usually know what they want. I don't think that they know how to make change. And if they did, they would have in the past ten years of, of trying this, uh, of complaining about this content. I think that's the case. Like, for example, um, like, th for every person who's, like, mad and, like, downvoting uh, Diablo Immortal, eventually those will just go away. Mm -hmm. And then the game will slowly go back up because it'll just appeal to more mobile game players. True. That's well, and really you can't see dislikes happen. on YouTube videos anymore. Yeah, and so I think that there's people who... That they don't want that to be true so much that they delude themselves into thinking that it's not true. Which is just not mm. how things go, unfortunately. Oh. Okay. 
All right. Give me the shiny, boys. Come on. Give uh, me with the shiny. I don't feel it this run for him. Hit me with the shinies. Oh, that's a shiny box. Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I'm not feeling it for him. Give me them shinies. Give me them shinies. Come on, let's get those four stars. Four stars. Big, big four stars. Come on. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's a three star. That's a hundred dollar gem. But can you that's sell it? That's a hundred dollar gem, guys. That's not too bad. Honestly, I can't remember. Oh, I think you can no, since he I've bought them all. I already got a three star. Uh, that's good. All right. Now, the next one, we'll get a four star. Yeah. That's right. Remember, he can sell these since he bought legendary gems. He didn't earn them. Um, you say pay to win games when gaming, like you, yet you play them. Like what? You're right. You're absolutely right. <laughs> I understand that there's going to be a lot of people that are unhappy about that and uh, everything like this. I, I want to mention <laughs> uh, PvP. Yeah, I will in just a few of these. Okay, I'll try PvP. Um, is that? I will never stop doing something because people don't like it. Good. Or stop thinking something because people disagree with it. That's just not how I do things. So it's like, there are people that disagree with my methods and they think that it's not going to work. They think that it's just going to promote it more. And I think that to a certain degree there, even yourself. Well, um, the thing is like, oh. Something what I find off. to be stupid about that is that let me what is the definition of insanity? <laughs> Repeating the same oh thing boy. over and over and over again, expecting to get a different result. Here we go. How is our criticisms of pay to win not insanity? Yeah, and there it is. Because nothing's been done. We've tried it so long. It hasn't worked. That's it. It, 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 it hasn't. Like, it hasn't worked at all. I, I think that the uh, the best approach to it is this. Help me at least. Exactly. The game looks mid. It does. Oh, shit. There's a mob in there. That's a dated definition. And what day did it expire on? Is it <laughs> yeah, the day before I, that you wanted to use it That's a stupid comment. Does that win? Huh? Oh. Uh, what's oh boy loot pinatas? I know. Who are we playing? Giving free advertising? Why would it work? Because I want it to be advertised. Have you ever heard of the uh, the phrase "sunlight is the best disinfectant"? I think this is one of the examples of that. A lot of these kinds of things exist because they exist in the shadows. Uh, they exist, and um, that that's why. Ted Cruz will save us. New player credit. And also, um, you've got to keep in mind that, uh, oh shit, damn, there's a lot of elites here. I wish I'd kill all these too. Um, okay, they're all dead. And where's the thing? I'm going to click on that too while I'm here. How far do you think these kinds of games will go? I feel like They'll these keep going. games are like nothing compared to what... They will go and go until something finally happens. Something huge finally happens. Because there's no reason to stop. Right? Why? Why would they stop? Be, oh, because it's unethical. Again, they don't care. If it's turning a profit, that's all that matters at the end of the day. Is the game, your product, is making a profit. If you're doing that, again, your investors are going to be happy. Because they don't, the whole morals of it, right? It, those oftentimes get lost or blown out of proportion. Not saying that they're wrong to be focused on and talked about. But it just unfortunately is what it is, right? All that matters is those quarterly, annual, right, budget reports or income, you know, like, again, not necessarily budget reports, excuse me, but, right, just seeing, huh, how do we do financially speaking, right? How much profit did we earn? Why on earth, if someone who's focused solely on that, want to diminish that profit, right? Unless there's some other reason you can't say well because you know it's a bad it's a bad business practice i'm sorry by and large that's not gonna that's not really gonna have a major effect it just isn't so 
yeah, again, sad, sad reality. Um, basically, I, you know, he talked about what I just said, you know, why it's important to understand why he's doing this. Um, it may not be the best way to do it. Uh, that's for y'all to decide, but I agree. It's everything they've been doing previously, right? As I said, no, nothing's been done. Nothing has happened. So why on earth would it change? Would developers change? What we're going to see in the metaverse. I think like whenever we see an actual metaverse type game, it's going to be even worse. Because like every single time, every year, there's a new year of people that stop gaming and there's a new year of people that start gaming. And the people that stop... Ooh. Wow. True. Wow, look at that. Wow. Scammers like promoting gambling, which is something you're against. Yeah, I know. I thought about actually doing a gambling stream. <laughs> I unironically thought about doing it. Uh, the reason for that is because, uh, let's see. No, I didn't get it. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, disenchant this stuff. Uh, the reason why I want to do a gambling stream is that I think that if I did, it would draw a lot of attention to it. Because you'd have so many people talking about the fact that I did it people getting mad about it this section would be probably at the top of twitch uh everybody would be talking about this right and it would create a lot of controversy and conversation around it uh, um. more so than you know if somebody else did it right so much content and so like i think that the gambling things is kind of the same different thing uh xqc already did it yes and i can guarantee you that xqc doing it uh led gambling to get banned faster I, I think any reasonable person could expect that gambling will probably not be on Twitch for a very long time. And, and I think that the more people that do it, the faster that time period will be. Yeah. Okay. I think go. 100%, yeah. All right, I'll see if people can see that. Well, I think it's a lot of people that are, um, uh, they just don't, they don't see things the way that I do. And it's okay if people don't see things the way that I do. I'll show them that I'm right. Because, uh, like, I, I, I tried to do this. Like, I tried to do this with, like, Classic WoW. I tried to tell people, like, oh, Classic WoW is going to die off in, like, a month or two and people aren't going to want to watch it. And everybody was telling me, they're like, no, you're not. You're just lying. You're just fake, fake Classic player. Oh, and I, man. I said this very That's... clearly um, whenever the game came out and before the game came out. And, and nobody wanted to. Uh, nobody wanted to agree with me. And so, um, I, I, I finally gave up. I finally stopped. Well, and, and I know I'm, I'm sure he'll bring up New World, right? Because, again, he did the beta. He reached max level. And he's like, y'all, there's nothing to do at max level. And it's total BS, right? How to do their dungeons and all the work and time consumption it would take to even, like, be able to uh, do a dungeon, which would lead to uh, all these problems. So... I'm sure he'll talk about that. Uh, the whole classic, uh, classic WoW scenario. I can see both sides, right? As someone, I love classic. I haven't played it because, again, I did that ages ago and have no interest in doing it again. Um, it's, again, it's that nostalgia feeling, and I'm sure that's why a lot of people... We're happy, you know, throw those like, well, the world is so much bigger, right? You can't just fly over mountains and everything. Like, even with uh, the fastest land mount, you know, going 100%, it's still going to take you a while to travel and, you know, all this world interaction. And but that's the thing is, yes, it was great for that nostalgia, but a lot of original players, right, they've moved on with their lives, right? They have full time jobs, they got families, they don't have time to do one to 60, which again takes forever. Um, so long so you know yes and the whole rage you know being god when I played classic uh, I didn't play it from the inception like I actually I think I was only 58 59 and then Burning Crusade came out so it just goes to show I was playing for probably like 8 months again slow leveler um, and this is with only ever having to go to school um and then I just stay home, play WoW with my friends all day. But uh, even in Burning Crusade, now I like I I think I only ever did Karazhan because it was like so hard back then. But now if I were to go back, I'm like, 
just like everyone else. You know the tactics, right? You have all these new add-ons as well. You, it's, that's why stuff was that someone cleared Gruul's Lair in a day, like the day it came out. Yeah. Um, again, times change, so that whole nostalgia feeling, like again, it's like the honeymoon period, it feels great, and then it goes away. Burning Crusade, it left quicker. I think same thing's going to happen for Wrath. Um, classic Wrath, I, I don't think, you know, it'll sound cool, it'll be awesome at first, and then people are going to get bored quickly, right? This is not going to be... I mean, I think the only thing that's really going to drive people is not even necessarily Lich King, but it's getting the... Uh, was it the Immortal uh, title? So running Nax and not dying, which incredibly hard um i did not get but then again i did not play wrath super hard i didn't even i didn't buy it until about eight months after it had been out uh that being said it's I, i've never been a hardcore raider i i tried it a little in legion and a little in burning crusade but obviously like yeah, and if all i ever did was karazhan that tells you how hardcore my guild was so yeah the reason classic hasn't you know, it is what it is. Like, it was great, but why it's still not like, oh my god, um, you know, above and beyond and like still being talked about so much is because people moved on from it. Stop trying to like so. convince people and I just waited until that happened. Is that all Gamba gets done? banned. Why not booby streams as well? Um, because Gamba is a lot worse than booby streams. And I don't think booby streams are bad. <laughs> of course not. Yeah, I, I, I don't I don't think they're bad. I don't I, I actually I, yeah I really don't think that they're bad. I don't think that they're a problem on Twitch really. Um, obviously like ASMR on Twitch is not ASMR. It's a dick sucking simulator. I've said that many times. <laughs> um, but I don't think this is like a massive problem that Twitch has. Um, How do y'all feel about that? Um, uh, more or less like the ASMR community has gotten so upset with um a lot of these streamers who like came in and they're like oh yeah we do asmr and like you know it's you know uh for lack of better terms of what aswin gold said um you know very you know yoga pants tight yoga pants views from behind um basically extremely sexualized right that's just what it is uh, so a lot of people in the ASMR community were getting upset because uh, that's not what ASMR is about. Um, so I don't know what. Let, let me know uh, <laughs> if y'all think that's a fair assessment, or frankly, it's fine as is. I'd love to hear it. Uh, the fact is, like the amount of people that are doing that is very small. Um, there's not a huge audience for it, but it just always is there. I don't think it's a big deal, man. I just don't. Sorry to say. Look at that damage, dude. Look at that fucking damage. Like you gotcha, Andy's gonna be a headache. Yeah, I know. It's just, it, it is what it is. Uh, I, I don't really worry about it. All right, here we go. Oh, I think that he said this is his last run. Big shinies here. Uh, let's see if he gets a five Big star. Shinies. Again, I'm uh, extremely doubtful. I forgot what the percentage, the chance is. Yeah, that's on, that looks about right. Actually, he should be getting the pity gym uh, any time now. Right? He's done. Has he? Has he done four, five? Where's right? my five star gem? Right, it's supposed to be a pity gem after uh, 50 rounds of not is, getting is this, it, or 50 crests. Is it supposed to crests. be like this? Is it bugged? Guys, I think it's bugged. What happened? I didn't pay enough money. <laughs> yeah, I wish we could do 100, uh, 100 stone rips. That would be great. That would save a lot more time. Mm. Not bugged, it's intentional. It's beta. Oh, you're right. Yeah, whenever it actually comes out, it'll be fine. <laughs> Oh. But yeah, just in general, um... Can you, can you all imagine how um, upset everyone's gonna be? Like, you know, I know it's open beta, but then I, I were releasing the game. Um, I think someone made something along the lines of like, yeah, 
um, all the money you spent, it'll be, you know, it'll be like credit. It'll be like Blizzard credit. However, all the items, everything you've acquired, you don't get that back. So why that sucks is all that credit, because remember, even if all that, all the gear, all the legendary crests, all that money he spent, it's still RNG. So you might have to spend more to get your character back to where they were. No, thank you. Um, if, that, if that is the case, then... <laughs> oh, it just keeps getting better and better the more I think about it. I think I made the right choice of leaving the game. Yeah, I don't expect people to... Like, if, if people don't see the way that I look at it, I'm not going to, like, try to over-explain myself a hundred times. Uh, I, I think that it makes sense the way that I've explained it, and so if people don't want to listen to it that way, it's fine. And, and then also, um, this is something I've kind of talked about a, a little bit more, and I'll, I'll get into it just for a second, is that I don't want people to view my uh they don't want i don't want people to view my stream as a um uh let me think of a way to put it uh as like a uh, like a, a a political messenger or something like that right it, it's not like i'm not making a statement right all the time sometimes i'm just doing something that i think will work or i think is funny uh that's mm -hmm. it yeah not mm -hmm. every stream is a stand uh, it's just sometimes I feel like, oh yeah, this could be funny, I'm just gonna do this, and that's about it. Uh, I, yeah, I just don't really give a shit. Yeah, it's not a soapbox. And, um, that's about all there is to it. And limit to five-star drop, there's less percentage for drops. You have to put in your solar blessings. <laughs> I am gonna do a Lost Ark Honing stream pretty soon. I don't know exactly when, but it will be soon. Okay. A big dick damage there, that's pretty good. Oh okay, god! Where's the mobs? Are they so, uh, full disclosure, I've never played Lost Ark. I've, I've watched tons of gameplay. I just I didn't feel like getting into it. Funny that I dead. got into uh, Diablo Dead. Immortal. But again, that's mostly because I love Diablo. Like I, I I just love the franchise. I was like, oh, maybe it won't be as bad as you know it's kind of being made out to be. Um, I was correct. It wasn't as bad. It was far worse. It was far worse than I thought it was going to be. Great. Alright, let's see the damage here. This guy's gonna get fucking deleted. Look at that damage, boys. Look at that fucking damage. There we go. Can we do a Vaulting weekly? I need to do Vaulting. Uh, I need to do Vaulting this week. I haven't done it yet. Does your dad play any video games? No. You can't, don't constantly address your pay-to-win stands. Kids will swipe their mom's credit card. I hope they do. Uh, hopefully their parents will find out about it and then start voting against it. Wait. I can't loot anymore? Wait, what? Dude. <laughs> uh. So I can't even get the shiny boys? Gym tab inventory. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, that's why you gotta craft them. You gotta you gotta use them to upgrade, right? Because they're materials at the end of the day. What? No more shiny boys. He can just leave. This is bullshit. He can just leave and they'll mail them to him. Easy Game fix. Will mail it to me? Okay, all right. Let me go yeah. ahead and salvage some of these then. Yeah, I'm going to salvage some of them. It's okay. In this condition, yes, pay to one will be okay, okay in Diablo 4. Oh, yeah, of course Diablo 4 will have pay to win. Um, yeah, of course. Why not? Fair. Use them for upgrades? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and do that. All right, we'll upgrade this one right here. Autofill? Nice. Rank <laughs> fucking four. Easy. That is huge, guys. Absolutely oh, fucking huge. 320 resonance. Wow. Okay, we don't have this one ready. <laughs> and can I upgrade this one? No. I just can't help but laugh. 
I can't upgrade this one either. Oh, I should use one of these. And then, oh, wait a second. So I have to level up other gems? Yes, there you go. He's got it. Just to level up one of my gems? What the fuck? <laughs> That's so annoying. Uh, for anyone who's ever played Raid Shadow Legends, uh, this is basically what you have to do to like upgrade gear or upgrade champions, really. It's like you want to upgrade a level 4 champion to level 5. Well, you need four other level 4 champions to basically sacrifice for that one champion to then reach level 5. Yeah, it gets extremely tedious and annoying, which seems like uh, he's finding out right now. So I have to go and level up Holy shit. I, I'm just trying to think about this. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> uh. So I have to upgrade this one. And then I do that. And then I upgrade it. So I, I have to salvage all of these. Should I do that? I salvage all of these. Yeah, okay, I'm going to do it. And then I'll upgrade it again. And now I have a rank 3. So wait a second. Now I have to go back to this one. And then... Oh, oh. my god. There it is. It's setting in. <laughs> uh, can't help but feel bad. Just a little. Holy shit. Okay, let me make a group here. <laughs> so let's do the raid. Oh my god. Um, I guess we'll do, do this one here. And we'll create the raid. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody oh, join up my so, raid. Join last as you can all see, the flame spun. Uh, 420 is the... Uh, uh, join up, boys. Let's go. What's it called? The recommended combat level. So you get that and... You should be able right. to do it without getting one-shotted by so we're gonna start his abilities. Fight. Everybody here is Paragon. So we'll watch and we'll see how this fight goes, okay? Is there a money limit to join? No. <laughs> All right, let's go. Pay to join. But for real. Big that's... dicks, guys. Big dicks. This is the first boss. See, as you can see, I'm on his side, but he still hits me with his melee attacks. As you can see, yeah, that mm -hmm. totally hit me there. I have to get directly behind him. Now we have these ads come up. We have to go kill the ads. He's already half health. Okay, guys, watch out. This is the second phase. This is where things really get serious. <laughs> Okay. Where's the rock? Ooh. Wait, what? Ah, that's unfortunate. Where's the rock? Ah, uh, hate to see it, y'all. What the fuck? Yeah, they still got it. With that, those many people, Paragon level for the first raid boss. It's it's not it's not an issue. Wait, Tal Rasha's authority? Mm-hmm. What the fuck is that? Oh, has he not done the Haradrim stuff? Ooh. Alright. Yeah, Haradrim stuff, those world buffs. Nice. Oh, it's like a special thing. Okay, so that's it. Alright, let's do it on the harder mode. Tal Rasha's authority. Incredible. Can I do that thing once a day or once a week? 
Is it once a day or once a week? It's a Haradrum thing. Once a week? Oh, I've already done it then. That's unfortunate, guys. No, All right, it's so once a day. So if I try and do it on 1250, let me do a raid for this. I'm going to create the raid again. All right, I need recommended combat wizards <laughs> at 12,500. Yeah, let's do the harder mode of the boss. Let's see if this is any different. Come on, guys. Not everybody all at once. The fuck? Okay, we've got one person. We've got Mail Muncher in here. Femdom Gods. This guy's used to being abused. We need six more people. Look at this, look at this guy. Sock a level 10? Holy fuck, man. That's a whale. Got him. God, oh my God. Holy shit. Please ask him how much money a he level put. Eight? What is this, dude? It's awakened? Holy fuck, bro. Oh my God. Like, it's just... This is really something special. Can we have some other people joining? Please join. One star? Yeah, and I know. Ask him how much money you spent. Yes, yes, there it is. Um, okay, yeah, let me ask him. How much money did you spend? Okay, let's find out. Nobody else wants to even join the raid. Yeah. I want you to be honest too, Mail Muncher. I mean, listen y'all, it's even for how soon it is, like Paragon 5, like to have that combat rating at this point is uh, the only way to accomplish it is to have spent that much money. Like, I think I was getting close. So I don't know. Maybe it could just be luck of the draw. I think I was like in the 900s at Paragon 15. And again, I've only bought in the battle pass. Uh, this person it seems well beyond the combat level required. Don't lie to me. <laughs> it's too high level. Wait, so people literally can't join? Why can this guy join? Nobody has the gear. <laughs> Holy shit. So this guy's not even going to tell me how much money he spent either. So it's impossible to even know. I'm already on hell difficulty. Don't worry about it. Only whales allowed. Okay, <laughs> we're going to have to not do this then. Give me one second. How do I queue for PvP? Yeah, how do I queue for PvP, guys? Okay, slash PvP. Top right of the map. This guy? I don't think so, man. Very tough. Is it this one? Yeah, it's figured it out. It's the blue star. Okay, let me go over there then. I'll try and do PvP right now. I've never done PvP in this game at all. This is my first time ever doing it. He'll do fine. So I'm a little bit nervous, but we'll see what happens, okay? Fun, fun fact. Uh, barbarians, Crusaders... And uh, demon hunters, super strong in PvP. Like barbarians and crusaders, just that health is ridiculous. And demon hunters, the mobility, uh, and as well as the damage. Like again, as a necromancer, it's it's very hard to stay alive. Like I mean, you you'd ha almost it's basically you have to have uh, what's it called wraith walk. And that's your only mobility escape, whatever. Uh, you can maybe do like a bone wall or something like that to get like more protection, but. It's, it's rough. Battleground captain, battleground. Find match. Oh, he missed Wait, the time frame. What? what? Mm -hmm. You can only PVP from 6 to 8 p.m.? Yep. There's no way that's true, right? Like, I mean, that that's obviously bullshit, isn't it? Like, I mean, that, that's gotta yes be bullshit. Yes and yes. PvP is only for two hours at a time. <laughs> oh, he's going through what I was going through the other day. It's setting in. I shouldn't be enjoying this. this real? The, read the NPC, it tells you that? Why? I, I, like, I just assumed it was like flavor text. I didn't even try to read it. Yeah, I didn't even begin to try to read it. 
this guy is just getting fucking destroyed, obviously. Because I'm a superior player. So what I need to do is I need to, apparently... I need to start running... So I, I need to run... A lot of these. Mm -hmm. So like, probably on average I have to run... About 300 of them. So 300, and 300 times 25. Uh, wh what is that? Um, fucking... Mm -hmm. uh, 600. $7,500? Oh, my bad. Yes. Was that it? I was thinking of, uh, how many... Right, because every 50 gems Crest spent is supposed to be guaranteed five stars. So if you just want to get six five stars, um, right, then theoretically it should be what 125 for a guaranteed five star times six oh and then that's over 700 that's about 700 ish Ooh, but then you awaken them and then you have to gem them again and so the money keeps rolling oh Give or skeezy take? skeezy skeezy and that's it okay all right yeah that that's all right okay we can do that yeah, we'll just get that out of the way, and then I'll get my five star for sure. And uh, then I won't have to worry about it. It's not enough? Oh, really? Uh, that's cheap? I actually should have bought the five. There was a five star gem on the auction house. I need to have somebody give one to me. Can people just trade me a five star gem? That would make things way easier. Yeah, just kind of solve this whole problem uh, right, you know, right away. Okay. There's, wait, there's no trading? Nope. What? Now, chat, I'll give you a minute to think about it. Why would Blizzard not allow trading? You might be saying, well, like, well no, because then people could spend real money outside of the game to, uh, you know, get items, right? And then that would promote botting. Okay, not bad. But the start of that phrase is really what it is. Spending money outside of Blizzard. Blizzard doesn't want to share. So by not being able to trade, that means you just have to run these things longer and more often and spend more money. So, yeah, again, why trade? Why make it, why infringe upon the profits, the potential profits that they can get? So, easy. Yeah, that's why there's no trading. Wait, what? Man, <laughs> this game certainly is a game, isn't it? <laughs> it? It certainly is a game. Game of the year. Oh, for so, sure. You guys want to hear something really funny? I bet that, um, I bet Diablo Immortal is going to make more money than Elden Ring. Mm hmm. For sure. No doubt. I Isn't we, that great? I think we talked about this. Oh, there, definitely, yeah. Uh, again, I already talked about this. There's no incentive um, to keep spending money on Elden Ring, right? It's, yeah, wh why? Why you, you pay once and you actually get the game. Remember, just like in the olden days, um, and that's it. So yeah, they're making a huge amount of money, but Diablo Moral is going to constantly be having that uh, money keep rolling in. So of course it's going to make more than Elden Ring. Of course. Uh, that's so good. And uh, that's so sad. Yep, that's right. Uh, I bet it probably already has. So does Candy Crush. Yep. <laughs> there you go. And um, uh, I, I don't know, guys. I... Um, I see where gaming's going, and uh, I feel like I, 
I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. Like, it's just... It's weird, isn't it? Because, like... It, I, 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 I don't even know what to say. I, I really um. don't. Like, it, it's just... Don't don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Yeah, there you go. Ah, uh, that's yeah, still. Yeah, you gotta be positive, guys. We think on the positive side. Always being positive. It, always smile. Uh, yeah, yeah, true. I don't know. It's, uh, it's still very sad. Diablo Immortal. The worst thing about it is that the main thing that Diablo Immortal did to me and a lot of people in my community is that it made people think that Lost Ark was not that bad. <laughs> yep. People were like, you know what? I, I was too mean on Lost Ark. Like, Could be worse. Perhaps I treated you too harshly. Lost Ark's pretty good. It's very ethical. You can only spend $400 a day. And uh, it's just an in general relaxing experience. And, you know, it's yeah. not that bad. So it's like, how can people really complain about Lost Ark? It's just crazy. Cope, I'm telling you guys what I've heard. <laughs> I'm not saying it's true. I'm saying this is what people have said. Where's the other elites? Like, this is this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about in terms of it being boring, right? The, these rifts. Like, there's nothing even happening here. Mm -hmm. You're just running down a dead corridor until you reach the end of the corridor and realize there's nothing there. What the fuck? That's it. He's got it. Okay, here we go. Really is sad, depressing, uh, however you want to put it. Uh, Big again, damage, obviously. I got bored of it. Yeah, it's just crazy to me. Never lose faith, paying for an empty box. It's not going to be empty. It's going to be full of level 5 gems. Here we go. Watch this. Oh, it's a shiny. It's a shiny, guys. It's a shiny. All right, everybody calm down. <laughs> everybody calm down. Okay, there it is. Does he not get the guaranteed oh, five? All right, let's do it. Come on, give me the big boy. Give me the big boy. Oh, man. Yeah, why did it have to be like that? <laughs> oh, if only some way he could have seen that coming. What can I do for you? Why did it have to be like that? Why did it not be good? Two stars again, man. Uh, single player games will hopefully be here to save the day. No. I actually think that single player games are going to be the next thing that starts have they start having microtransactions in them. Yes. I think single player games are really easy to monetize. Yeah. Aesthetics. All you have to do is add in problems the game has, and then yeah, single player games will have microtransactions too. Why not? That's mm -hmm. really the question you should ask. Okay, these guys are all dead. See, like, I don't mind the rifts whenever it's, like, one elite pack to the next elite pack. Because it feels like it's a good idea to stop and, like, kill them. What I don't like is whenever you're just going from, like, a corridor, and it's there's no elites, right? You're just randomly killing mobs. That's what I think really sucks the big fat dick. And so hopefully they fix that and they add more elites into these rifts. I find it to be super boring. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is way better. I like this a lot more. <laughs> like, kill this guy real dude, quick. Chat. He's hitting the same I button mean, over and over, but eventually they die. Like seriously, like what, what? What do y'all feel like? I want to see you know, how far I can get with like. I don't feel like. Sorry. Sorry about that. Do you really think you know single players? I mean. It, it honestly it doesn't make sense, right? Because by all means, that's an untapped market. Again, because right now it's still the whole, you know, with the whole Elden Ring argument. It's like, man, you get all that money, but you only get it once. What if you added something, right? And not just DLC, because that's always a go-to. But, you know, something that, especially it doesn't even need to exist, but people get more or less convinced that it should. Right? Again, it's creating problems, and then if you pay this much money, you solve said problem. Um, again, business 101, right? People look for solutions, even for problems that shouldn't be there. Uh, think about World of Warcraft, right? Buying mounts, buying, oh, you know, the whole uh, Pokemon, right? The battle pet system, 
now don't get me wrong actually i i, I kind of enjoy it you know I, I'll, I'll do it from time to time and it's fun but um well if you want the best battle pet uh some of the best ones are guess what you gotta spend money for them like i think there's like a little kelthuzad um ragnaros y you know it's all these but they are strong i remember i got one because i uh, pre-ordered uh, Starcraft 2 Collector's Edition, right? I got the Mini Thor. Oh, man, like, oh, so strong. It's still one of my go-to uh, uh, pets in a lot of cases. Uh, again, none of the other ones, like the regular ones you collect, even the rares, no, nope, nothing. It's, again, you're paying uh, in a single-player game, it's the same concept. It's like, what can we give people that would really incentivize them? It's like, well, this challenge is really hard unless, oh, you have this bonus item or whatever. Like, you know what? It's, it boosts your stats by 5%. That right there might be enough to all of a sudden, oh, I can finally overcome this challenging content I was going. Instead of farming, right, going out, it, it, you're virtually, you're paying more money to play the game less, right? Is that not what it is? And of course, that's what it is. It's sad, it's, and it's unfortunate. Um, but I think there is reasonable, you know, it's reasonable to think that, yeah, this is going to be something that happens, right? That, joking aside, very well, you know, is likely. Because developers, like, we need more money. Some of it for authentic reasons, right? Like, oh, try and keep the job, but... It's kind of like the dark side, right? It's it's pulling you, it's tempting you, because if you go through with it, oh, think about all that power, right, in the form of money, and also that makes your company look more successful. Which, is, if you end up thinking about selling it, that's going to become very important because they're going to look at has your company turned profits, right? And if so, how often, how much, is it on a you know trajectory to continue doing such and growing? Well, guess what. The more income revenue that you're bringing the better it is so yeah single player games totally see it um it is not crazy to think otherwise it's just really sad okay now that we got that fun out of the way back to it my damage is like super good it's like it's okay i'm not saying it's bad of course my damage is good but it's not super good. Let me kill this guy. I think this is about all I'll need. And I should be done after this. Show whale PvP? So I tried to, but the problem is that it literally doesn't let me. You guys want to look at the leaderboards after this? I'll show you what the leaderboards look like on my server. And, and we'll see who um, who's on top. Oh my god. Ooh, someone from my cool. warband, if he looks at Necromancers, okay, he might see him. Go. You don't have enough money for PvP. Apparently not. <laughs> well, the thing is, like, so, um... Correct me if I'm wrong about this, okay? Which I could be. Activision Blizzard holds a patent for a matching MMR system that intentionally matches players that don't spend money against players that do spend money to make the player who doesn't spend money feel bad. Oh, shit. Is that true? It came out in 2015. What? That's correct. Okay, I thought so. Whoa. Okay, well, so that kind of just blows apart my whole idea for PvP and Diablo Immortal. Because um, they're already doing the opposite, right? They don't want even play. They want you to get dominated. So, yeah, you feel like a POS and that you need to spend money to have any chance. Oh, that is... That's actually really disheartening to hear. I had no idea that that was a thing. Dude, this sucks. All right, let's see it. Wow. Big money, big money. Come on, big money, big money, big money, big money. Come on, big money. Big money, big money. Come on, big money, big money. Come on. Oh, man. I remember them saying they would not do it. Oh, here we go. Here's the article about it. And this came out in 2017. And so let, let's go so ahead and look at it. Real about quick. five years now? Um, let me go ahead and pull this up. 
Uh, patent granted to Activision outlines a new matchmaking system that would pair players together in order to encourage microtransactions. Um, so let's see here. Activision Publishing spokesperson responded to Docker with the following statement and uh, has not been implemented in game. Um, the matchmaking system would, for example, if the player purchased a particular weapon, the microtransaction engine may match the player in a gameplay session in which the particular weapon is highly effective. The text of the patent reads, this may encourage the player to make future purchases to achieve similar gameplay results. The matchmaking system mm -hmm. would analyze player trends such as latency and weapon preference in order to place them in scenarios that might lead them to buy certain items. Um, there we'll you go. go. Into this more. So let's look at the uh, leaderboards. So this guy right here right. is number one. He's oh, the best. I've seen He's K Dog. Also in the guild, Femdom Gods. So let's say his gear. Let's see his gear. So he's got a um, his gem is level four. He's got a level six gem as well, and this is level five, and a level five as well. And there's his weapon that's got a level five. All four star gems pretty much minus this one here. Jesus. Yeah, there we go, guys. This guy who was max on the first day, I'm not sure. And then we'll look at this guy's gear. So again, this guy's got a, uh, he's got the trick shot gem again. Maybe I should buy this. What is this? What does this do? Might as well. So I've, I've, I, I can't remember if I've seen Techie, but I for sure I've uh, gone up against K-Dog in PvP. And if he has gear gems like this, you know, a clear pay to win, then I understand now why I was getting wrecked so hard. But apparently that's what Activision Blizzard wants, right? Because that's going to motivate me to spend more money so I can get that kind of gear to, you know, remain competitive. War Cry, the Mole Racing thing. Maybe that's good because of Whirlwind. I'm not sure. And so Howler's Call, level four. A uh, bunch of uh, three and four star gems. This guy's gear actually isn't really that insane. Why don't any of these losers have five star gems? Yeah, are there, like, there's mm -hmm. nobody oh. with five star gems? What is this? Yep, look at it. It all makes sense now. What are these casuals doing? I don't understand. They're really rare? Well, they are if you're a bitch, maybe. <laughs> Shit. Look at the other classes? Okay, I'll look at the other classes. So this is the Challenge Rift. This is basically the Greater Rift system in Diablo Immortal. Uh, the difference between this and normal rifts is that the mobs in here do more damage. Uh, that's basically it. Uh, there's no other differences except for they don't have as... There's like no buffs. As you can mm -hmm. see, you just go through... I feel like these rifts have in general better elite placement, but I think that could also just be me being... Uh, you know, wh yeah. whatever you call it, like a uh, superstitious. 2000, this is Scuffed Lost Ark. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> I like it. Th yes. Yeah. That is exactly what this is. And it's only going to get are, better. You are 100% right. Okay, kill this guy. Kill that guy. Might as well grip that guy over too. There we go. We got to kill one more. So again, we just ate, uh, are you a little super, no, I'm, I'm not superstitious at all. I, I don't believe in any of that stuff. It's not real. Is this the whole game? Um, well, there's also certain times of day where you can do PVP. And so like, if you're a whale and you haven't spent, uh, you know, you haven't, you haven't had your daily dose of validation, um, you can, uh, you can uh, PVP against yes. like non-whales and kill them. Uh, and so that is one of the little bonuses that you have uh, as being a whale. Well, you might occasionally die there. Occasionally. Okay. I gotta watch out here. I'm, I'm dying. I think I'm probably actually going to die. It's that guy's that, that black shit that guy puts down does a lot of damage. It's crazy. Uh, it wouldn't be a Blizzard game without a normal mob that doesn't attack that does more damage than the elite mobs. Uh, you know, it's just a really, really great balance on their part. Super exciting and yeah. fun. What about Krakens? Oh. As I said, I want to talk to some people that are like really big Diablo whales. 
and, and see what they have to say. Is it Krakens or Leviathans? Like, you know, the, their history playing the game, like why they're doing it, everything like that. I, I really do. Um, I'm trying to find some of those people, but obviously some of them are very elusive because, um, you know, like they don't, like a lot of those people, like with other games, they RMT as well. So it's not enough to just like use the in-game systems. Oh, they have uh, to be spend right back. and get like a refill. Ways on top of that. Go oh, right. Thanks for hanging on there. All right. So Leviathans, Krakens, uh, whatever the next stage the, that whales evolve into is what we're is what uh, they're talking about. So let's see what else comes next. That too. So that's why a lot of them don't really like themselves to be shown. Okay, here we go. So this is the uh, this is the next boss here, and as you can see. She's already pretty much 75% health. It's not really a big deal. Half health now. <laughs> uh, I just stand yeah. in all of the attacks. I, I do that because it's just faster. Yeah, you don't need to dodge. Well, it doesn't matter if I stand. As Barbarian, you don't need to dodge. As a Necromancer, it is... Uh, sometimes I can get away with it. It depends on uh, the boss, frankly. And in everything, I just still survive. Does it make a difference? There we go. And she's about to be dead. Nice boss, yeah. I reached Paragon level one. You guys know what that means? 599. <laughs> More to go. Okay, let's go ahead and take the portal. It's boring to not look. Yeah, exactly. Latest quest. I'm sorry. I'm not going to look at it. Stop. Okay, and let me look here, and I want to see if I can get... Oh, I get experience for this, too. All right, I guess I might as well claim these. God, oh, 54. Wow. I am blade and fury. Wait, I just got Paragon level 2, just like that? Holy shit! Oh, my God! I'm out of control! Okay, uh, I'll claim this, too. Oh my god, spend your points. I'm spending them right now. This is incredible. Switch to Hell 1 difficulty. We've got that. Conquest. We got this too. Amazing, guys. Okay, so wait, what else do I have to do? Battle pass. Oh, it's this one here. I forgot about that. I have to get more hilts. And uh, what, is, what about story in the game? Uh, I think like there was some guy and we killed him. And so that's pretty <laughs> much what the story was. And uh, that's, yeah, Not that's wrong. about it. Yeah, there's a guy, and we, we killed him, and uh, that was about it. Check your Paragon points. Yeah, whatever. Okay, here we go. And let's go ahead oh. and just group everything up. So, yeah. Did you um, kill Diablo yet? I don't think you can. Maybe you can. I just haven't gotten to that part. Yeah, but, um, no, Paragon. Diablo. 600 I levels. I killed a guy named Skarn. You probably have to pay money to kill Diablo. <laughs> okay... There we go, kill all these. And yeah, you just cleave through everything. You know, technically he's not wrong. You do pay money to kill Diablo. Um, it's called Diablo 3. So how many of you guys are playing this game? And, and be honest with me. Be honest. Don't be, oh, I don't play it. Like, shut up, you're playing it right now. <laughs> like, ah. Uh, no, how many of you guys have played this game? Not me? Nope. I don't believe you guys. I actually don't believe you. I mean, yeah. I know this might upset you, but I, I legitimately do not believe you. Oh. I think that there are a lot of people. It sounds like there's trust issues between they chat. They're probably ashamed of playing the game, but they play it every day. Not yet. I might in the future. Well, the thing. Okay, so let's talk about. My, all right, all right. Do you want me to cut the memes just for a minute? Let me actually give you one second. Fucking god damn it, man. It's so annoying having to deal with this, like, nose shit. Oh my god. What? Oh. It's like allergies. I've had this ever since I was in California, man. Okay. Do a poll. I don't trust the poll. 
I actually think that there's a lot of people that have probably been playing the game already. Yeah. I it's... wish that I could kill more elites too. I'm always sad whenever uh, all the mobs die. I, it was it was a very attractive uh, game, even for like being like you know everyone the whole memes about it, like the jokes jokes aside, like. I was like, yeah, I, I probably won't play it. And then next thing I know, I was like, download it. I was like, damn it. Um, I, again, it looks good. Um, like, it looks like, oh, you know, I, I, for me, it just looks like Diablo 3. Like, maybe slightly better graphics, like nothing huge. But, you know, killing demons seems fun, seems easy. Why not? Um, and lo and behold, like I said, Overall, I enjoyed it. Like, the story was pretty straightforward. It was very Diablo. I didn't like how they level-gated areas because it made you have to, uh, you know, reach a certain level before you could move on. And a lot of that meant, um, guess what? You, you, you'd have to grind um, or, you know, you could spend money for boosts that would help you in your grinding spree. You know, the, the, the typical um, super annoying things uh, that one has to do. So... Uh, that being set aside, I mean, overall, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, I, it's one of those, I see a lot of people playing it and then they drop it. So that's my, my opinion, my thoughts on that matter. Where's the boss? Where's the boss? Oh, he's over there. Fuck. Okay, Paragon points. Let's look at that. The fuck is this bullshit? Mm -hmm. oh, a I'm whole... not going to look at that. Who cares? Okay, let's go over here. Oh, man. I assume he won't say, uh, say it in the poll. All right, yeah, let's do a poll. Let's find out. How many of you guys, yeah, mods, if you can do a poll. Fuck it, let's do it. Yep, let's go. Uh, if you played Diablo Immortal, click yes. Yeah, I want to see it. All right, yes. Add, yeah, are you playing Immortal? All right, let's, let's see what people are saying. What if we quit? Then click yes. Mm-hmm. So, 23%. Uh, so, 20, 20, about 20, about a quarter of you guys have played Diablo Immortal. Nah, it's probably higher. I, I agree with that. I think okay. it's higher. Um, all right. So, let, let's go ahead and now can we do another poll about how many of you guys have spent money on Diablo Immortal? And now that we've done a poll to see how many people have played it, how many people have been played by it? And don't, don't, don't feel sad. Don't be embarrassed here. Don't be. A, it, this is a no judgment zone, okay? <laughs> You're among friends. And so yeah, it, it's, <laughs> okay. it's totally fucking normal, guys. Totally fucking normal to spend money. Does day one money count? If you have spent more than forty dollars, oh. more than forty dollars total. Actually, more than twenty dollars total. I'm not talking about buying the first pack and then quitting the game. I mean, like, if you've spent more than uh, than $20 total in the game. Nice. That's not me. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm actually curious. Should we vote in the next one? Uh, no. Yeah, this is only, like, please only vote in this if you are playing the game currently. Just so I can get better data. Because, like, I, I want to get an idea of, like, where, where we're at. Like, what we're up against here, boys. <laughs> yeah, how many whales okay, are you dealing with? Go. Zero free to play. We got a lot of losers in here, apparently. Okay. There we go. Great. And we'll kill this guy, too. Amazing. Look at that. Wow. Okay, let's see here. Oof. Oh, uh, will that work? Uh, people will vote even if they don't play. No, I, I think that <laughs> they will, but like, you can assume people will vote. Uh, uh, listen, as a researcher, this is always a, you know, question. It's like, how do you know people aren't lying or, you know, just basically full of crap? It's like, well, if you're worried about that, then guess what? You'd never get anything accomplished. So it's kind of just a, call it just a general rule that we accept that unless strictly given reason, 
uh, we we believe everything that's reported to us. Um, now, does that mean, uh, again, only a quarter of the chat f playing or having played Diablo Immortal? Again, I'm, I'm hesitant to believe that, but uh, it, it, it is what it is, right? The numbers are the numbers. Uh, and so the number, I know it, especially with how much people have spent, it's still right, at least in our field, you know, benefit of the doubt that, yeah, they're, they're telling the truth. Because especially in this sense, like, you have all this anonymity, so why, it, it, I was going to say, why do people still feel the need to lie? And, well, it's, again, it's just very simple that it, even talking about it, whatnot, feels shameful, you feel guilty, and even though no one will know who you are, you know, trace it back to your username, it, it still creates, you know, that feeling, and you don't want to feel that. So you kind of lie, you fudge the numbers, if you will. Vote, they'll do bullshit votes, like, probably about the same, at the same ratio. Right, bullshit yeses and bullshit noes. So I'm not gonna worry about it that much. Okay, have you spent more than $20 on Diablo Immortal? Let's see what it says. No and yes. Okay, so about 20% of people have spent more than that. Okay, so let's say... Okay, so we're talking about 20% of 25%. So let's assume we have 60,000 people in the chat right now. 25% of that is 15,000. Uh, 20% of 15,000 is, uh, is 3,000. So you take 3,000, you multiply it by 20. Um, 3,000 is, uh, let's see, 3,000 times 20 is 60,000. 60, so you have $60,000, and then you can also assume that's the minimum amount. So that means that you've <laughs> got to have at least 1%, or probably 20% of the 20% of the 25%, which is probably an additional maybe like uh, 300 people that are spending over 100. And then probably 20% of that are spending over 500. So you're getting into like these, uh, these numbers here. And what I'm saying is that $60,000. So Blizzard is effectively getting a dollar out of every single one of you. Hmm. In less than a week of the game being released. Yeah. It Again, it's, it's honestly it's just going to be uh, about how long will that kind of revenue persist? Um, you know, what, what's the drop-off going to be? Uh, it's, don't get me wrong, I think uh, Diablo Immoral, they're going to make their, they're going to get their money back, but I, part of me is hoping that you see a huge decline uh, because I, I really, I after playing it, experiencing it firsthand, um, just the tactics that this game, you know, employs, right? They really get people to spend money, just find it highly unethical. Um, and it should, in a sense, be made an example of, right? Is this is a dangerous um, precedent to set for what's acceptable as, you know, oh, no, it's, it's just a video game, right? It's... People don't have to spend the money if they don't want to. Uh, I, again, I've already been over this. That's just not how it works. It does not work that simple anymore, right? It's, you have people using psychological tactics, like all new level. It's, oh, it, it's getting crazy. So, and not to say the least, like I said, the game initially, I enjoyed it. Um, but kind of said my video, it really felt like a hollow uh, victory uh, by the time I hit 60 because there's nothing, felt like nothing to do. Um, I, I get there and I complete everything in an hour or so, what have you, and that's all, you know, done, time to move on. And But I was like, there's nothing to move on to, and I don't want to grind Elder Wrist. Like, to me, that doesn't seem fun, especially as a free-to-play player. I can't get five-star gems. I can't even get three or four-star gems. So, yeah, uh, multiple problems. You see what I'm saying? 
statistically. I, I'm not saying that like, if you're not spending money, like, of course, no, it's not obviously you. But it, statistically, that's what's happening. Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down here? Are you catching what I'm throwing? Are you seeing what I'm saying? Are you getting where I'm going? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. Six, 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 yeah. And, and so, like, the odds are that... And let's say, like, three people in the chat have spent more than $5,000. Look how fast that increases it. Mm -hmm. Think about that. If three people have spent $5,000, or maybe 10 people have spent $5,000. Ooh, that's a shiny boy. Give me a second. Oh, wow. No, oh it, 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 can God, be, it becomes shiny. exponential, right? It's a, it's a, you know, essentially it becomes a snowball double effect. Shiny. Okay, here we go. Because once you hook someone once, you're bound to hook wow. them multiple times. All right, all right, come on. Come on, big money, big money, big money. Okay, let's see it. Let's see if I got any good loot. No, I didn't. Okay, all right, we're about the money. Naturally. Man, dude. Oh, man, dude. Oh, shit. But you know what this means? This means I can upgrade my uh, my legendary gym. Got God. it. Okay, we're good. Um, sorry about that. And uh, let's go back over here. Have you reached Have you reached the weekly cap? No, I haven't. Uh, I'm not sure if there even is one. I don't believe there is. And, It'll be fine. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to spend as much money as I can, but I can only run the rifts so fast. Okay, I should be able to upgrade my gem now, right? And so what I have to do here is I have to have, so I already have one of these. I need to level up another blood. Oh, I only have two. Oh, man. I have to keep doing it. Guys, I, I, I have to keep running them. Let me go ahead and upgrade this again. Auto fill. Okay, upgrade. There it goes. And we have to get it up to level three now, okay? Auto fill again. All right, these are all garbage gems. And I, oh, I don't have this one. So I... Oh, oh, I have to see. put a gem inside of my gem I I so I can put right. my gem inside of my gem. Now he's got it. <laughs> oh, there. Yeah. So I need to make, I need to get another gem. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Mm. Uh, gemception. Crack yeah. with runes. You can't gem on gem on gem. Sure. And here's uh, how it begins to really pick up. And, uh, Except invite, it's munchy. What do you want? That was the whale that Tra invited me. What do you, what do you want? Never autofill? Two way. I don't give a fuck. The thing is, the moment that I'm done with this game, <laughs> which I'm is about to be very soon. It. I'm just going to stop playing. I don't care about I don't care about my character. It doesn't matter. Yeah, who gives a shit? Oh, I disenchanted a good gem? Who cares? I disenchanted a good game. <laughs> disenchanted a good game. You. you know, like, who gives a fuck, man? Okay, let's kill all these. Coder. Sorry, y'all, just looking. Um, are you getting any sort of screen Sorry, stutter? Showing has some fr uh, frame drops, but it's all still getting green lights okay, across, so I'm not... No problem. Fully understanding uh, why okay. that is so happening. Right now? It's called Diablo Immortal. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than a current album. Uh, it's about two thousand dollars so far. Yeah, so far. Obviously, it's going to continue. It's going to get more than that, but like it's just two thousand dollars mm. right now. Ah, curious. I wonder why okay. the frames are dropping like that. Drop. That's not good. I think I should try to clear these rifts even faster. That's a royalty fee? Yeah, it's crazy royalty fees now, guys. It's just nuts. This guy's only got 70,000 health. He just dies so fucking fast. Look at that. Okay, got him. No fucking problem. How much am I willing to spend? Honestly, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm actually not sure. I probably should think about that because, you know, at, at the rate that I'm going <laughs> at think. now, I'm going to have to make that decision very soon. Basically, so this is the way that it works. So you're burning through money at about...
about 300 to 500. Ooh, shiny box. Okay, all right, calm down, guys. Calm down. Calm down. Here we go. Let's see it. Ooh, that's a shiny box. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Whoa! Uh, I got a four star! Holy shit! He finally got one, boys. Big dick! Big dick! Mega Shield with the 20 subs! Holy shit! Thank you, man! <laughs> Guys! Oh, man. It's just that easy. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. This is now, all sad. I I so gonna, many I levels. I, I love money, it. Man. <laughs> I thought I wasted my motherfucking money. But thank God I got this. Now See, I know that I didn't. Vindication uh, for the I entire game now. Face, right. <laughs> it's it's it all again? okay. Bottled hope, I mean. Uh, using the skill grants a buff that increases target's damage and a movement speed. Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, it kind of sucks. Uh, it's disenchanted. Who cares? <laughs> But yeah, um, that's pretty much how this <laughs> game sounds works. About right. I'll try to do PvP uh, at some other point. I don't really know where. Uh, there's a whale. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people that are whaling in this game. Uh, let, let's see here. Sell it. What the fuck? Just disenchanted. Who cares? It's just bullshit anyway. Cost 110k. Yeah. When devs stop creating whale character to combat other whales to increase spending, yes, they do. That's mm -hmm. exactly what they do. That's the entire goal. It's half a five stars price. Yeah, money. I, There's no way. I bet it. I, I bet it scales exponentially, right? So like for every, it's like for every ten two stars, there's a three star. For every ten two st three stars, there's a four star. For every ten four stars, there's a there's a fucking five star or something like that, right? Yeah, I uh, I, I don't know, man. A gem's perfect. It gives so much more combat rating and resonance. That's true. Which. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, anyway, I'm going to call the day for today. To be honest, I'm tired. Uh, my throat's been bothering me, and so I can't really keep talking. I'm, I'm tired of talking. I can't keep talking. Um, and oh, so, uh, it's I'm gonna this game. For a little while, eat some food. <laughs> uh, we had ourselves gets, a nice little that. nine, ten hour stream, relaxing, chilling, doing what we need to do, having fun, go relax and uninstall. True. <laughs> we have a lot of content to go through with this. I. I wanted to play the game a little bit today, so I didn't really spend a whole lot of time getting into all of the content that I wanted to get through today, because we had other things I wanted to do. But tomorrow we will watch some more videos about this and discuss it further. Uh, I don't know if I'll have an interview for tomorrow or not. I haven't decided. I'll also talk to Rich about doing an impromptu episode of All Crafts about Diablo Immortal, because uh, you know this week we're going to have on um, the, the guys from Notorious, and probably the week after that we're going to probably have on. Uh, other developers of another game that I, I don't think we can say yet. Um, but yeah, that's really what the plan is. Crash the gem market by selling your super cheap. Delay Final Fantasy, you can spend $2,000 more on Diablo. <laughs> to be honest with you, <laughs> I think this game's boring. See? I'm not the only one. I do. I, do. I, I think it's boring. Ugh. The only thing that makes it... I can't tell y'all how vindicated I just feel um, him saying that, right? That's exactly why I stopped. I... I stopped having fun. It was just like, yeah, I can knock out like your daily bounty quest. But other than that, there ain't jack to do. Um, like not what nothing that feels meaningful or fun. I mean, and PVP is like the same map, right? I, again, the game just came out, but I, I didn't. Yeah, I, I just stopped enjoying myself. So I decided to cut my losses and that's it. And entertaining is watching streamers <sighs> burn $25 bills. It's just boring. Like, that's the only thing that's fun to watch. And so, like, yeah, very boring to watch, too. Yeah, and so, like, if you don't care about that, like, that's why a lot of people like watching it, for sure. But, like, it's the same as, like, gambling or whatever. I, I mean, some people are entertained by it. Some people are not. Uh, personally, I, I'm, I'm really not. And so, uh, mm -hmm. that's the point. It's very little gameplay. Yeah, there's no gameplay at all. It's just, you just sit there and run through the rift. And then you kill the rift guardian. Did the thing drop? It didn't. And do it again. Okay. Let's do it again. Uh, someone could argue if it's not a Blizzard game, you wouldn't blame the pay to win system so much. Well, you can easily disprove that immediately with Lost Ark. Yeah, that's... So, I, I think that's just... That's something that somebody is saying because they're trying to defend the game. It's not a logical conclusion to come to.
I really appreciate everybody and all you guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to be back online tomorrow in the morning. Follow my Twitter, twitter.com slash Asmongold. Uh, if you guys want to. Okay. So. All right. Um, wow. Yeah. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, he, you know, I, I, I got to say, I think, you know, he kind of highlights a lot of the stuff. Sorry, let me uh, move this around now. There you go. Uh, yeah, he, he has a lot of the same feelings. Uh, or he came to have the same feelings uh, that I did, or at least I talked about. Um, with regards to the game kind of being boring, uh, the amount of monetization that there are, like especially looking um, not the Paragon system, but you know the gems on gems, uh, just and how low the drop rate is, and basically how you can go through hundreds of dollars in less than an hour just farming uh, these risks, and all for what? It's to compete, I guess, in the you know challenge risks. That's it. Uh, Path of Blood as well. I know. I don't think he's done any of like the you know you have the shadows and the immoral uh, immortals. Uh, excuse me. Um, you know the Path of Blood is basically it's kind of like a challenge where uh, you can't heal so or you can't use health potions at least, and you have to try and kill all the mobs. Um, I beat thirty or no no I'm at thirty or I was at thirty, and I couldn't beat it. My character is too weak, um, but I I have all like. I think level two gems. So as a free to play player, I'm kind of like maxed out in that regard. So what do I do um, if I don't want to spend money? Again, uh, I, I kind of start hitting all these brick walls and yeah, it, I, as I said in a previous video, felt like a hollow victory. I'm just, I, and I'm done with it. Um, I, I have, I'd rather play another game that I actually enjoy. And so that's kind of, why I wound up doing what I do, you know, uh, either probably probably go back World of Warcraft, um, might do Final Fantasy, I don't know. Uh, Y'all, of course, let me know uh, what, you know, if you have feelings towards one or the other. Um, but, you know, it's just, it, it's sad. It's, it's disappointing uh, that the game went down such a path and will, uh, basically, I say it's going down in... Um, and Infamy as being such a predatory game. Like, with a, you know, the, the overall system behind it, not bad. Um, but the predatory actions of, yeah, basically milking all these people for money as much as possible. Um, I have a major issue uh, with that. So, again, uh, those are my two cents. Uh, thank you all for tuning in and listening you know, uh, we'll be back uh, here pretty, uh, maybe tomorrow, uh, probably tomorrow, uh, trying to get a consistent schedule, but uh, sometimes that's easier said than done. But with all that being said, uh, don't forget, uh, follow my Twitter, um, follow, you know, check me out on YouTube, uh, watch some clips, love it. Uh, hopefully in the next couple weeks, I'll be able to get, uh, you know, uh, some you know, researchers that I'm good friends with and have they have some really awesome insights on human behaviors and factors. And so more on that uh, coming soon. So please stay on the lookout. Um, as always, uh, I'm your host, Dr. Duality. Thank you all again for coming and checking me out. Appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cool. Bye.